Wow! This is the day two. With the servant of God, wise man Daniel. They gave him a name. But his Susanna name is Mpo. South Africa, are you here? Namibia, Zambia, Nigeria, Botswana, and by the special grace, you are here today. I would like to tell you this. By their fruit, we shall know them. I don't know why you are here today. Why are you here? Hallelujah. I want to prepare you for what is about to happen. I want to prepare you for what is coming towards you. You only need a pure heart. May 
maybe someone said something to you this morning. Maybe you came here angry or with a broken heart. Please, please, please. Leave that aside. He needs a pure heart. You must be here in spirit and in truth. Say, neighbor, I forgive you. If you run to your neighbor, say, neighbor, I am sorry. I don't know what they did to you this morning. I want you to forgive someone out there. For what is about to happen today needs to meet you with a clean heart. May you lift your hands wherever you are. Say, son of David. Son of David. Have mercy upon me. Son of David. Have mercy. Have mercy. Say, son of David. Forgive me. If I run to you. Knowingly and unknowingly. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Father. May you open your mouth and pray that prayer. The son of David, forgive me. Son of David, forgive me. For I'm a sinner. Son of David. Son of David, have mercy on me. Can you pray that prayer, somebody? Wherever you are, wherever you are standing, release your heart to the spirit of the living God. He is a gentle spirit. He will love to find your heart with peace. Raise your voice and pray. I see me through, Lord. Don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. Pray wherever you are. Let me hear you pray. Son of David. Son of David. Have mercy. Forgive me. Cleanse me, Lord. Wash me. With your precious blood, make me new before you today. Prepare my heart that whenever the servant of God comes near me, I shall receive my healing, I shall receive my deliverance, restoration. Let me hear you pray, somebody. Son of David, have mercy on me. Let your mercy speak for me. Your divine favor, look at me. Son of David, have mercy on me, son of David, son of David, son of David. Son of David. Oh, let your mercy, Lord, let your mercy for me. Oh, your divine favor, your divine favor. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I want to talk to someone out there. Distance is not a barrier. I want to take, talk to nations of this world. It doesn't matter wherever you are. Thank you.
is a day, let me see your hand. Say, Holy Spirit, locate me today. Holy Spirit, locate me today. Through your servant to locate me today. Hallelujah. I'm here to assure you that this is your day. Continue in prayer. Continue meditating. Through the roof, they brought the, the man to Jesus. That little faith that brought you here today. I'm telling you, you are not going home the same. You are not going back to your nation the same. You pray that Jesus Christ locate me today. Locate me today. Heal me today. Deliver me today. Through your servant. Use him today. Over my life. Over my situation. In Jesus name. Take a step of faith today as the servant of God. We'll step here. It's not him by the spirit of God through him. Hallelujah. That's why he will say to you that he is your brother, he is your son. Receive him. And you will be receiving Jesus who sent him to the nation of Botswana. Who sent him to Southern Africa. Hallelujah. You are blessed today. I am Prophet Bruce from Mao. By their fruits, we shall know them. Hallelujah, somebody! Hallelujah! Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Somebody shout, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah is the highest praise. Somebody shout, They began to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The chains broke. Hallelujah. Somebody have to praise the Lord in this place. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hosanna, are you ready? Oh, Zambia, yes. are you ready? Oh, Amelia, yes. are you ready? Oh, yes. Mozambique can ever shake it in the back. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus. In the morning when I wake up, I could sing and praise unto you, my Lord. I could shout, I could dance to you, for you have been my help forever. Amen. Choo, choo, choo. Hey, hey, my God is good, yo. 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 Ah, 
Aquele 
us. Come on! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna count to three. I know you are a dignitary. Forgive me. Whoa! I know you are. Hallelujah! But I want you to stand for the King of Kings. I all oh, my prophet is on his feet. Hallelujah! I want you to shout and make a joyful noise for the King of Kings. Oh yes! For the Most High God. Oh I yes! Count. One, two, three, shout! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes, you are welcome. My name is Prophet Alpha. The presiding prelate of House of Chronicles International Assembly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here standing on behalf of the committee that was organizing this crusade. As the chairman. People of God, we are here. This is the second day of the crusade. The second day of the revival. Botswana for Christ. Crusade with Wiseman Daniel. Can you put your hand together for Jesus? Can you put your hand together for Jesus? Because as a nation of Botswana, we are honored. All the nations of the world, we are blessed to be gathered here because of the name of Jesus. Remember, the Bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. This is the second day of the But I believe that the revival is going to proceed forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are welcome, people of God. 
to honor all the servants of God in this house today. Both locally and internationally. Men and women of God, we reverence you. Fathers of faith in this country, we honor you. You have paved a way for us as a younger generation. And we believe that the Lord will unite us and we will keep on learning from you. I said this is yesterday that together we stand divided we fall. I believe that this is the beginning of unity in the church of Jesus. We should walk in forgiveness. We should walk in love. We should not just be hearers of the word but we should be doers of the word. So our elders of the faith in this nation you have an assignment to raise us to to become better men and women of God. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. All dignitaries present here, uh, government officials, uh, we reverence you. May the Lord bless you. Uh, May the Lord bless you. Uh, Lord bless you. Uh, I have a small message uh, to the church of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. I believe that we are in a time that the church has to position itself to address the following national challenges. Which confront the government. Family pains in form of marital breakdown. Separation and divorce. Growing gender-based violence. Teenage pregnancy. Youth problems linked to drugs. Alcoholism and unemployment. Where issues of depression and frustration trigger growing incidents of suicide as they lose hope in life. The church needs to be sensitive and build interventions directed at engaging community leadership. The government targeting troubled youth children vulnerable people like the elderly disabled prisoners who often feel isolated or left to leading hurting lives our prayers intercession and teaching of the word must be coupled with practical action. Where we complement the government's effort by offering counseling, housing, feeding, home and hospitality visits, or hospital visits. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We should try by all means as the church to support the government to stand in the curb. I believe the scriptures, they still stand still and nothing has changed. That the governments of this world, they are upon our Lord Jesus Christ. This is my plea to the governments of the world remember and to consider the church because there is a role that we are playing as the church. We are not just empty people gathering with no vision. We 
want at the end of everything for the world to be saved, for people to be saved, for people to return to God. As the church of Jesus, let us not focus upon ourselves. Let us extend a hand to the people of God. Remember, we are the light here on earth. We are the salt here on earth. Put your hand together for Jesus. As the church of Jesus, let us lead by example. Not just within our church circles, in communities that we are set upon. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. I don't want to take much of your time. But I want to assure you, this is the day that the Lord has made. I'm saying this is the day that the Lord has made. And your miracle is coming your way today. I'm saying this is your day to receive. This is your day to receive. Remember what the Bible says. The race is not to the swift. Nor the battle to the strong. No bread to men of understanding. But the heaven shall happen to us all. I want to assure you that this night something new is going to happen in your life. I'm saying something new is going to take place in your life. As you'll be ushering in my friends, your friends, our brother in the Lord, wise man Daniel, let us be here with an expectant heart. Hallelujah. 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 Don't allow this moment to pass you by. God is going to use his servant, wise man Daniel, Daniel, to bring a solution to your life. Second Chronicles 2020. It says, believe the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe his prophet. so shall you prosper. This is the night of your prosperity. It is the night of your breakthrough. Put your hand together for Jesus. Thank you. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Let us clap hands for the Lord Jesus.
Now, we, it is time for testimonies. Remember, testimonies build up our faith. Before the first testifier comes out, let us please watch our media screen and see how it all happened. Her, her, her lungs. She's no longer part of us now. The operation is going on. You know, as you have theater here in the physical, you also have theater in the spirit. She has been taken to the theater in the spirit. By the time she woke up now, everything is clear. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We let are your, healed your, in the name of Jesus. The operation be completed. Allow her there. Thank you, Jesus. Men of God, help me. Men of God, help me. I have a Thank you, Jesus. And then stiff neck. Is Men of God, help me. I have a stiff neck. My name is, my name is Marcia Smear. Uh, I have arthritis. Let the operation uh, Men of be God, help me. Men of God, help me. I have arthritis and then stiff neck. Help me, man of God. For 10 years, I'm, my name is Marcia Smear from South Africa. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm I mean it. I can walk. I can walk. Jesus I can walk. Operation. I can that? walk. I'm good. Ah. I'm good. I'm good. Hallelujah. Bring in and out. Bring in and out. You're free. Let's. Her, let's. You, She's free. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you, Jesus. Yo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A while ago, with a difficulty in breathing, Madam, can you please tell us your name? Introduce the lady sitting before you. What have you done to her? 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 How the medicine will go through, through her mouth. Headaches! <laughs> oh my! He's we'll got go a long by him. He's killing days. people. <laughs> my! Uh, he's killing she's people. Killed. He's killed. He's killed. <laughs> I believe God right. has done it for us. Right. I believe God has done it for us because after the man of God touched her. She slept for some, some time. And then the man of God said, we must Thank not you, wake Jesus. her up. Thank because Jesus she was for going your healing. through the surgery. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you, Jesus. My family is free. My family is free. My father is free. He's got kidney stones. He's free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. Are you breathing? Yes. Are you breathing freely? Yes. Do you have any pain? No. Let us put our hands together for the beautiful walking miracle God. Raise your hands and say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Praise the 
the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What we have just seen on our media screen is the authentication of the raw and forceful power of God. And this happened right here in our midst at the Botswana for Christ's crusade yesterday. Now, let us listen from the horse's mouth as they share with us their wonderful testimony to the glory of God. Remember, as they share their testimonies, let us key in in faith. Let us key in in faith as you watch and listen to their testimonies Continue to pray in your heart. Remember that we are blessed by the testimonies of others. Key into their testimony, and yours will come today in Jesus' name. We welcome you to the day two Botswana for Christ crusade with Wiseman Daniel. Madam, can you please? Introduce yourself, introduce the people standing beside you, introduce the young lady sitting, and please share with us your wonderful testimony to the glory of God. Hallelujah! Good morning, church, and win today, win forever. Hallelujah! Elohim! My name is Dokas Muji. I am from Odi. I'm here with my daughter. She's Sedi Muji. She is nine years. Here is my husband, the father to Sedi Muji. She is Mr. Douglas Muji. From Botswana, we are from Odi village. Hallelujah. We are here to glorify God and the life of our daughter. Yesterday we were here on the first day of Botswana for crusade. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we were here, we came to ask God to intervene in the life of our daughter. Not only in her life, even our life. As we came here yesterday, she had a problem of asthma. When she was three years, she had this asthma problem. But it wasn't that severe. As time goes on, she was using the sprays. But for the past five months, the asthma has been acute to an extent that we were using this nebulizing machine to help her open up the respiratory tract because she couldn't breathe. She couldn't breathe nicely. And everything was a challenge to her. Her waking up, her sleeping was a challenge. Hallelujah. Madam, so, for the benefits of people listening to you, we heard you mention that for the last five months, the problem of asthma that she's been suffering with became acute, and then she's been using a machine. Can you please explain the machine and explain how she's been using the machine? This machine is called a nebulizing machine. Every time when she was attacked, because she was coughing continuously, the cough was dry, and it was continuous to an extent that when she stops coughing, she will have pains on the chest. And even the way she will breathe, breathe the last, you will actually feel as the parent that she is tired. So the machine will be used for her to manage to breathe. So we will take her to the doctor. The doctor will, will use the medicine to put inside the machine. Let me just uh, try to, to show how we use the machine. So this is how she will wear the machine. And then the doctor will put the medicine on this part of the machine. When you look nicely on this part of the machine, when you look nicely on this part of the machine, it has um, measurements. Okay. Okay. So this is the machine, people of God. It is an electrical appliance. We put it on the, the electricity. 
Then the doctor will put the medicine on this part of the machine and then put it on so that the machine can start to, to work. So when this machine is now working, the medicine will go through this pipe into her nose, down the mouth, and then it goes through the chest. Hallelujah. So this is how the machine is working. Hallelujah. So this is how we have been dealing with her, her, her challenge. We have been taking her to the doctor time and again. Sometimes in a week, we will have to go there three or four times so that she will be nebulized. And then the other two days, the doctor will say, let, let us just see if this is going to work. But people of God, I want to tell you, the doctor was just trying, but nothing was happening. For the past five months, the whole of second term, this child was not going to school. We will take her to school. The next thing the school will call us, come and take her. Because she will be coughing time and again. And now other kids were afraid because we were in time of COVID-19. So they were afraid that maybe it's COVID. But the first time we took her to the doctor, the doctor had said to us, go and test. So we went and took the test for COVID-19. They were negative. So that is how we have been dealing with this situation. Now this situation has been a problem to her because she couldn't go to school like other kids. She couldn't play. They were always asking us not to allow her to play. She was not allowed to be where there is dust. So we had to keep her indoors all the time. We can, we can see how severe the situation that the young lady has been battling with, to the glory of God, she's healed. Let us please listen. We know that the father would like to add a word or two. So let us please listen to him. So we welcome you to the Botswana for Christ crusade. Can you please explain to us, sir, as, as parents, how have you been feeling seeing your child go through so much struggle all those years? Good morning and win today. Elohim. Uh, as a parent, this has been quite a challenge. Because when you see your daughter, uh, who's been very active, starting to deteriorate in health, starting to be like lonely, you know, not being active as she used to be, and crying, and coughing. You know, it was, th this cough was not normal. It was actually very continuous that you would even feel the pain yourself, the way she was coughing, the way she, it was happening to her. So, and also because uh, studies now were being affected because she was not able to go to school uh, regularly going to school as she used to be. So, and also, uh, in her normal life, she, she likes to sing. And now she couldn't sing, she couldn't do the things that she loves the most. So, because of this. We know you have a lot to say, sir. But can we please quickly listen to our mother again? Madam, can you please tell us what happened on the prayer line at the day one crusade with wise man Daniel? Can you please explain the bit of the encounter you had with the wise man Daniel? Hallelujah. I want to tell you that devil is a liar in our lives. When we were still waiting up there on the prayer line, waiting for our turn to come and meet the, the wise man, my daughter started having an attack. She said to me, Mommy, I can't breathe. I said to her, drink some water. She said, but I still, I can't breathe. I said to her, take off the clothes. She took off the, the, the jacket. But still, it was a challenge for her to breathe. I prayed shortly, but inside of me, I was like, if the devil thinks we are not going to go through, we will go through. So when it was our turn to go through and meet the, the wise man, when the wise man was still coming through the, the queue, 
I have called out for his attention. Men of God help my daughter. Men of God help my daughter. She can't breathe. So when the men of God came nearer us, I called, I shouted up, men of God help my daughter. So when the men of God touched her, the men of God said, we have a theater of God in this place. I believed inside my heart that yes, God is going to do it. Hallelujah. So he said, in this theater, she is going to have a surgery that will, she will be operated from the, the nose, through the mouth, through the throat, down to the chest. And she will sleep. Before any time, she was asleep. Even me, I couldn't understand what was happening because it happened like suddenly. I just saw her head going down the chair. So I tried to usher her head. But the man of God said, don't touch her. Don't wake her up. So I, I moved back a bit. I waited for some time until she woke up herself. When she woke up, the man of God said, he, she is awake, she is awake. And then I saw just one tear coming down the, the face. Hallelujah. And I glorified God. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My daughter is healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The same touch of God is what we're anticipating in our midst today. Tell your neighbor, are you ready for that touch? Are you ready for that touch? The mighty hand of God is about to move in our midst today. Are you ready for that touch? So God be the glory. Madam, we rejoice with you for what the Lord has done in the life of your daughter. Can we please listen to the young lady? Let us please ask her, what, what was your experience? What were you feeling in your body when the man of God, wise man Daniel, prayed for you at the prayer line? Praise the Lord. So how are you feeling now? Can you tell us how you're feeling? I'm fine. You're feeling fine now. You're feeling fine now, yes? Yes. Do you breathe well now? Yes. Can you show us how you breathe now? Breathe in and breathe out. Are you still experiencing difficulty breathing? Are you still experiencing difficulty breathing? No. So God be the glory. Let us put our hands for Jesus. I can't hear you. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. There is power indeed in the name Jesus. And that same power is about to work in our midst today. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Madam, we rejoice with your family, with what the Lord has done in the life of your daughter. Can you please tell us what is your promise to God and what is your advice to the people listening to you all around the world? Hallelujah. We promise God that we will not sin no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of the healing of our daughter, we will serve him like never before. We shall do what we should do. We shall serve him like never before. And we shall sin no more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us please listen to the Father. Please tell us what the Lord has done in your life. What is your promise to God? And what is your advice to the people listening to you all around the world? Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. We, we will serve the Lord more than before. He has proven once again that he is faithful and trustworthy. He remains the I am that I am. And what I can share with you 
is that, you know, perseverance as a Christian is, is uh, very critical. If we had to go back to how we registered or how we came about, because my wife went through so much. At one point, she wanted to give up in terms of this, uh, bringing the daughter here. But we, we continue to say, let's, let's keep on. Let's keep on until we came here. And this is what we have in today. So even for you, even for you, I can say that, yes, the problem that you've been having, it might have been too long. It might have been there for a longer time. But this is the day that the Lord has set apart for you. Indeed, today is the day the Lord has made. You listen to our Father. When we have problems, when we have troubles, do not run away from God. Instead, run to him. Run to him because he has solution. Remember, your problem does not embarrass Jesus because he has solution. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Praise God. Let us put our hands for Jesus one more time. We still continue. We still continue with our testimonies for the glory of God. While waiting for the next testifier, let us please watch our screen for the next testimony to see how it all started in Jesus' name. Our God is a miracle working God. You are welcome. Sir, you are welcome in Jesus' name. We thank, we thank God for the next testifier. There is power in our testimonies. Praise God. Let us put our hands one more time for Jesus. Praise God. You are welcome, sir, to Botswana for Christ's crusade, the second day with wise man Daniel. Could you please introduce yourself? And, your, and share with us your beautiful testimony. 
Amen. Good morning and win today. My name is Victor Tautona. I'm working here in Havrone. I'm from Sarue, Botswana. Uh, the program that brought me here, I have a back pain from lumbar spondylosis and lower back. I'm using a lumbar corset. So, sir, um, you mean when you came to the prayer line, you were using a lumbar corset? Yes, I was using, using a lumbar corset. I hurt myself while you're crossing obstacles. I'm a soldier. We had an exercise in 2014. I was crossing obstacles. And I failed to, to negotiate the other one, and I fell on my back. I hurt myself. And uh, since that time, I was feeling pain on my back. And uh, three years back, now the pain started to increase. I couldn't go without uh, the lumbar corset. I couldn't sit for a long time. I couldn't stand for a long time. So I end up going back to the hospital where I was referred to go and do some x-rays and scans. And uh, the x-ray shows that I had a back problem. And I started going for physiotherapies uh, for some times. And the pain couldn't go. We thank God for, your, for delivering you and healing you in Jesus' name. Um, sir, did you find any solution outside before coming to this crusade with the man of God, wise man Daniel? No, there was no solution. I've gone for a lot of hospitals. I was, you know, taking painkillers. Every day when I'm sleeping, I have to take painkillers. And sometimes when I'm sleeping, when I want to turn around, I can't turn until my wife will come, at, will, will, will come and turn me. Yes, sir. How do you feel when you cannot do the stuff that you couldn't do before, uh, being a soldier in, in, in your everyday life? How it has this problem affected your everyday life? It was very bad. It, it affected me a lot because I couldn't work like a man. You know, if you are a man and you don't have a strong back, you know, it's something else. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't drive myself without this closet. I couldn't lift anything that man can do. Praise God. Let us put our hands for Jesus. So, sir, can you tell us your encounter with the man of God, wise man Daniel, during the prayer line? Uh, the, first, the first time I saw a man of God, it was on me, Emmanuel TV. Uh, but uh, as, uh, from here on a, on, on a prayer line, I was sitting there by the corner waiting for him to come. And I was telling myself that today, it's going to be my day. I saw him coming, and I said, God, I'm right here, and he's coming. As he's approaching, you know, I, I, I was confused because I could see many people falling. He was like, like a tiger. Ta, 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 ta. And people falling. Then I said, man of God, man of God, please help me. Help me. I'm suffering from my back pain. And he come and tapped me once. And I was shaking. You know, he, he just stand there and watch me for some time. Then I said, man of God, please help me. When he come back, he hit me again and hit me again. And it was like people around me are hitting my head. Pa, 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 pa. Then I, I, I was so confused. Then I, I, I saw myself on the floor. When I, I stand up, I was so confused. 
Praise God. Praise God. Let us put our hands for Jesus one more time. Before we go any further, we seem to have some technical difficulties with the playback. So shall we please do a repeat of the playback for the benefit of those watching all around the world? My, my name is Atautu. Please, man of God, help me. I'm using Lumba Closet. I have hurt myself during crossing obstacles. So, man of God, I want you to help me. For eight years, I cannot stand for a long time. I cannot sit for a long time. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I can walk now. Praise God. Let us put our hands beautifully for Jesus. So, sir, can you explain to us, after the man of God prayed for you, can you show us, for the benefits of view viewers and the people sitting here, the things that you couldn't do before? Yes, I, I, I couldn't bend like this. I can, I can bend now. I can bend. Praise I God. I can exercise. Praise I God. I can exercise. You know, I Praise can God. Exercise. You can do better than that. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. What can you say about the man of God, wise man Daniel? I will say the man of God, wise man Daniel, is a real man of God. I, th I think everyone here have seen what has happened yesterday. And I believe today uh, it will be a miracle. For everyone, everyone will Praise. leave this place with a great miracle. Praise the living Jesus. We believe that God is going to use his servant mightily today in Jesus' name. Amen. So with what God Almighty has done for you, what is your word of advice for those people watching you and the people sitting here waiting for the arrival of wise man Daniel in person. My advice to the people sitting here and the people all over the world, I'll say that. Uh, you must believe God. As you are sitting here, you must meditate. Stop talking to each other. Meditate and pray for yourself, for your family. Believe that as man of God will be coming here, he will be coming just for you. And if you believe that, you will receive. And Amen. God is going to heal you. Amen. God is going to free you. God is going to deliver you. Praise In God. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. We believe that only faith pleases God. So lastly, sir, what is your promise for God Almighty after healing you and delivering you from all your sicknesses and diseases? I, I'm going to serve God more, and I'm not going to sin anymore. I'm going to serve him, and I don't need this anymore. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I'm free. Praise God. I'm free, and my Praise family is free. God, let us put our hands together for Jesus one more time, for his love and compassion for his people, and we ask God to give you the grace to continue in Jesus' name. Amen.
Praise God. Let us put our hands one more time for Jesus. The miracle working God. We continue with our testimonies to the glory of God. Praise God. We thank God for His anointed servant, for all what He has done yesterday. And we believe God is going to continue with His work among us today also. In Jesus' name. We continue our testimonies. To God be the glory. We thank God Almighty for His mercy and favor upon our lives. Right now, let us listen to the next testifier. And before the next testifier comes out, let us watch the screen of our television. Right now, say to your neighbor, today is my day. Say to your neighbor, today is my day of encounter with Jesus. Say it like you mean it. Say today is my encounter with Jesus. If you believe this, put your hands together for Jesus. Testimonies continues. The Bible says, Testimony to the name of the Lord for all what he has done in our precious life. My backbone is broken and I'm doing operation. Yano Moko Fe I'm we also doing operation on the sixth of June. And it's difficult to walk. Who is using this and to I'm walk? Not bed, I'm not bending. Who is using this? I use for walk. It's mine. Okay. It's mine. You want Jesus to help you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I Lord. Lord. Shut up. Uh, go, go, go. Thank you. Um, thank you. I, I had an injury. Let us put on together beautifully for the King of Glory as she walks into our midst for what God Almighty have done in her life. Remember, the Bible says our Lord Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And as he has done this in her life, God Almighty will surely do this again in your life in Jesus' name. Let us put our hands together beautifully for the King of glory. So, madam, you're welcome to the Botswana for Christ's crusade with, our, with Jesus Christ. Please tell us your name and your beautiful testimony. My name is Betty Musisi. I'm 66 years old. Um, I'm from Ram Botswana. My, the, uh, the reason why I came to the, to the crusade with men of wise men Daniel is that one of my problems was I had deafness in the left ear. So this problem started about five or six years back. And I experienced it while I was still working. And it was such that it was making life very difficult because as you can imagine, when you are in a meeting and you can't flow with all the interactions, it's very embarrassing and not comfortable. 
So <coughs> it disturbed me. I retired in 2017, and from that time, I realized it was getting worse. So I sought um, medical intervention. And in the process, the doctors advised me to, um, that the solution would be to use a hearing aid. And so I did. I went for it, and I've been using it for almost a year now. And yes, I've been using it for a year, and that is why I came here to seek God's uh, intervention. So yesterday, when I was placed on the prayer line, uh, I was in the attitude of prayer, praying to God to save me because yes, the hearing aid is there, but it's not like it's comfortable. And so when the worst man was coming towards me, he was about five uh, people or so towards me. I started screaming to him, saying, man of God, please help me. I'm using a hearing aid. And when he came to me, he, I, I can remember the first three slaps, pa, 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 and I was on the floor. From there, I, could, I can't remember much. I only remember that when I stood up from the ground, they helped me up, and I was confused, but I could hear, I, I realized for my left ear is functioning. To so God be the glory. Let us put our hands together beautifully for the King of glory. Before we go further, for the benefit of our viewers watching all over the world, but now please tell us, for how long have you been having this problem of deafness? Like I said, about five or six years back. Please tell us, how has this problem affected your life, your work, and everything about you? Mm, it had affected me negatively because when you are with people and you can't flow with the conversation as you are interacting, it's not very comfortable. So as a mother, please tell us, how do you feel when you realize that this ear problem is a major issue to you? Tell us, how do you feel? I feel bad. Yes, it made me feel really bad. Please tell us, where have you been in search of solutions to this problem of deafness? Mostly to the doctors, health, uh, hospitals. They checked my ears and they realized that it is the left leg that is not, uh, not functioning properly. So tell us, when you came to the Botswana for Christ Crusade with, it, with my wise man Daniel, Please tell us, what was your encounter with the man of God, wise man Daniel? Oh, my encounter was wonderful. First of all, I, I knew, I know that he's a man of God, and I came here believing God that a wise man has allowed himself to be used by God, and I believe that through that... Um, tap on my head, I'll be healed. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. As we have listened to our mother, she came here with the issue of deafness and she met with the man of God, wise man Daniel, on the day one day for Bosona for Christ crusade with the man of God, wise man Daniel. And immediately she had an encounter with the man of God. Immediately she re received, her ears was open. And right now, she's able to hear. So, madam, please tell us, how do you feel that day when the man of God, wise man Daniel, touched you? Like I say, he, I only remember the first slaps because there were many. It was ta 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 ta, -ta And uh, I'm blessed. I feel blessed for that. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. So right now, what changes have you observed in yourself? 
I've observed that when someone speaks to me, I can hear from both ears. This is what you could not do before? Yes. Before the healing, you could not hear with both ears. Yes, I could. But right it. now, after the prayer, your ears are open and you can now hear very well. Thank God. Let yes. us put our one together beautifully for the King of Glory. Can you please exercise your ears? Let us see. Close the one ear and let us talk to you. What is your name? My name is Betty. Can you hear me very well? Very well. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. Okay, let us try the next ear for the benefit of our viewers watching all over the ear, all over the world. What is your name, ma'am? My name is Betty. Where do you come from? I come from Ramos, Botswana. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. This is a clear proof that our mother is completely healed from that spirit and problem of deafness. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. Madam, tell us, with what God Almighty has done for you, what can you say about the man of God, wise man Daniel? I can definitely say wise man Daniel is a, man of, a true man of God. Mm, let us clap for Jesus Christ. So tell us, what word of advice you have for viewers watching all over the world? Believe in God, trust him, and run to him, not from him. Amen. Indeed, our mother said, whatever we have, if we have any challenges and problems, we should not run from God, but we should run to him, because God Almighty alone has the final solutions to every fundamental issues of our life. Let us put on together beautifully for the King of Glory. So can we see the hearing aid? So, madam, with what God Almighty has done for you, with what God Almighty has done for you, what are you going to do with this hearing aid right now? I'm going to throw it away because I don't need it anymore in Jesus' name. Amen. For the benefit of the viewers, let us quickly watch the playback of the video of how it all started. Remember that our mother came here for the day one day for the persona for Christ crusade with wise man Daniel. And she said she had an encounter with the man of God, wise man Daniel, at the prayer line. And the man of God touched her ears and immediately she started hearing. This can only be done by the mercy of God in the life of our father in the Lord, wise man Daniel. Let us put our one together for Jesus Christ. So you have to tell us, for the benefit of the viewers, when the man of God touched you, what sensation did you feel on that day? Um, when he touched me, I, the slap was... I, it, I became confused immediately. Her mother said she became confused in trying to say that she was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, please, can you please advise those that are here in, anticip in anticipation of the man of God, wise man, Janet, to touch them? Please tell us, what would you advise them to do? My advice is that we should, they should be in an attitude of prayer. Because to attract the Holy Spirit, we have to be with him. Amen. Amen. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. So for the benefit of our viewers who just joined us, please let us quickly watch the playback of how it all happened yesterday when she had an encounter with the man of God, wise man Daniel.
That clap is not enough for Jesus. Let us put our hands together beautifully for the King of Glory. Indeed, our God is good. All the time and all the time, our God is good. God Almighty uses the faculty of his anointed one, wise man Daniel, to put an end to the deafness in this woman's life. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. So, madam, tell us, with what God Almighty has done for you, what word of advice do you have for viewers watching you all over the world? And for those who are sitting right here, waiting for the arrival of the man of God, wise man Daniel, please tell us. My advice to all view viewers out there, and we in here, is for us to trust in God always. And to be in an attitude of prayer when the man of God arrives in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us put hands together for Jesus Christ. So, madam, please tell us. We want to see the hearing aid that you were using before. Can we see the hearing aid? So, right now, what do you want to do with this hearing aid? Do you still need them? No, I don't need it again. Why don't you need it again? Because I can now hear. Because she can now hear. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. Indeed, we thank God Almighty for setting you free from this spirit and problem of deafness. With what God Almighty have done for you, what is your promise to God Almighty? My promise to God is to serve him all the days of my life. And by his grace to sin no more. Indeed, we pray with you that God Almighty will give you the grace for you to go and sin no more and for you to maintain your healing and your deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us put our hands together beautifully for the King of glory. Testimony continues. The Bible says, when you give God glory, when you give God thanks for the little things you've done, Greater things will you receive in Jesus' name. God is good, and all the time our God is good. So say to, say to your neighbor, neighbor, say to your neighbor, neighbor, today is my day. We cannot hear you, neighbor, today is my day. Today is my day to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. Say it like you mean it, say neighbor. Today is my day. Today is my day to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. If you believe this, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So right now, let us call on the nest as the fire. But before we listen to her, let us please watch the screen of our television, how it all started.
Let us continue to watch the screen of our television. She came for the first day of the Botswana for Christ Crusade and she had an encounter with the woman. So right now, what do you want to do with this earring A? I want to throw it away. Why do you want to throw it away? Because I'm healed in Jesus' name. Because you are healed in Jesus' name. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. So let us put on together beautifully for the King of Glory. So with what God Almighty has done for you, please tell us, what is your promise to God Almighty? My promise to God is to serve him always and by his grace not to sin again. Okay, okay please let us see the hearing aid. Let us see the hearing aid for the benefit of our viewers. Let us see the hearing aid, please. Let us see the hearing aid. We can see it very clearly. Please let us see the hearing aid. For the benefit of our viewers, we want to truly confirm that truly she was using an hearing aid before her deliverance. So can we see, can we please see the hearing aid? Thank you very much. Please, let's watch the screen of our television. This is the hearing aid this woman was using before she came to the Botswana for Christ's crusade day one. And she had an encounter with the man of God, wise man Daniel. Immediately, the man of God touched her, prayed for her, and she started hearing with the two ears. So right now, what you are watching on the screen is the hearing aid of this woman that came in the day one for Botswana for Christ's crusade. So this is the hearing aid you are watching on your screen. So watch the screen of our television. This is the hearing aid of this woman that came yesterday, the day one of the Botswana for Christ crusade. And she had an encounter with the man of God, and by the special grace of God, she can hear with her ears. Now she is perfectly free from that problem of deafness. So indeed, God is mighty. Indeed, our God is good all the time. And all the time, our God is good. Let us put our ones together beautifully for the King of Glory. So right now, Madam, please tell us your advice and your promise to God Almighty. My, my advice to viewers out there is to trust God and depend on him always. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We pray with you that God Almighty will give you the grace to trust him and for your healing to become and remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Testimony continues. Let us continue to watch the screen of our television. God Almighty continue to use his anointed one, wise man Daniel, to do miracles, signs, and wonders, and to save the life of the people. Indeed, our God 
is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Man of God, please help me. Help me, man of God. Help me, I have stick neck, stiff neck. Sarame Tikajan from Gaboroni. Man of God, please help me. Pray for me, man of God. I can't go to work. I can't do, do house chores. I can't drive. I can't do anything. I'm using a neck collar, man of God. For 17 months, one year, five months. For how long have you been using it? How long have you been using it? I've been using it for almost five months. You can't drive. I can't drive. You can't turn your I head. can't turn on my hey. neck. Hey. Together beautifully for the King of Glory. Our mother is here to share her beautiful testimony to the people of God. Ma, please, you are welcome. You are welcome for the Botswana for Christ's Crusade with Wise Man Daniel. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and your beautiful testimony. My name is Ramitika Jan. I stay in Kumakwane, Botswana. The problem that brought me here is stiff neck due to muscle spasms. Because of these problems, this problem of the neck, I couldn't do anything. It was difficult for me to walk long things, to, to walk, to sit for a long time. Even if when I go to work, I will just go for a few hours and go back home. I couldn't even do house chores. They were always help me at home. Nothing I could do. I was always tired. My friend was just going to bed all the time. Hmm? So because, because of time, let us quickly watch the screen of our television for the benefit of our viewers. Let us see how she came to the Bosona for Christ Crusade Day 1. Let us quickly watch the replay of how it all happened for the benefit of our viewers watching all over the world. Man of God, please help me. Help me, man of God. Help me, I have a stick neck, stiff neck. Sarame Tikajan from Gaboroni. Man of God, please help me. Pray for me, man of God. I can't go to work. I can't do, do house chores. I can't drive. I can't do anything. I'm using a neck collar, man of God. For 17 months, one year, five months. For how long have you been using it? How long have you been using it? I've been using it for almost five months. You can't drive. I can't drive. You can't turn your head. I hand. can't turn on my head. Hey! 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 Let us put our one together for Jesus Christ. We watched the screen of our television how the woman came to the Botswana for Christ Crusade Day One, and she had an encounter with the man of God, wise man Daniel. She came with the problem of stiff neck and neck collar, and the man of God touched her and prayed for her. Immediately, she received her healing. So, madam, please tell us how did you get to know about the Botswana for Christ Crusade here in in Botswana with the man of God, wise man Daniel. I knew it through Facebook. I used to search for 
for the, the man of God was man Daniel. So that's why I, I used to, to, to follow him on, on Facebook. So please tell us, for how long will you be having this problem of, of stiff neck? For one year. And how has this problem affected your work and everything about you? Uh, this problem has affected my work because whenever I go to work, I have to come back before time because I'll, I'll be so tired. I can't drive myself. I always depend on people to drive me. Even if I go to hospital, I depend on asking people to take me there. At home, totally, I will not do anything. I will just sleep because this neck will be so painful. I could not turn it to, to the left. I could not... Uh, I could not turn it to the left. I could not bend my neck down like this. It was always a problem. I was depending on painkillers most of the time. So please tell us, as a mother, how has this problem affected your house chores and everything about you, even your children at home? How has this problem affected you? Uh, it has really affected me because my, my, my children are the ones who are always have to help me at home. Because I couldn't do anything. I couldn't cook. Even cleaning, I couldn't clean. Because and this neck will be moving up and down and having a lot of pains around it. And you said you could not drive. So tell us, how do you feel when you realize that as a mother, you are unable to drive to go to different places? How do you feel? Uh, it was very difficult for me. Because wherever I go, I will have to ask someone to drive me. But as today, I drove myself all the way from Kumakwani to, to Tukaburu. Hallelujah. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. So please, Mama, before you tell us how you came here, please tell us, where have you been in search of solutions to this problem? I've been to government schools. I've been to government uh, hospitals. I've been to private hospitals. Because sometimes when you are sick, I even checked the, the herbalist for, for solution. You mean you even went to herbalist home for solution? Yes. So tell us, were they permanently give you the solution to your problem? I didn't get any solution anyway. Hmm. So tell us, what can you say about these areas you've been to that you were able to get solution to your problem? I so, was... So tell us, these areas you've been to, were you able to get solution to your problem? I didn't get any solution. Not at all, because even in other uh, hospitals, I was told that my, my, my case is very rare. There's nothing like my case. They are starting to see it. You mean there was no permanent solution to your problem? There was no permanent solution at all. I've been going for physiotherapist. I was told that if I go to physiotherapist, they will help me, but no solution at all. So when you came to Botswana for Christ's crusade with the man of God, wise man Daniel, please tell us what happened to you. Uh, when I came to, to the crusade for wise man Daniel, I was, in the, I was booked in the prayer line. As I was waiting, I was meditating and praying that God should use the man of God to deliver me, to heal me to take me away from this situation because it has been troubling me for a long time. But when the man of God uh, prayed for me, before he came to attend to me, I've been asking for help. I was screaming, saying, man of God, please help me. Man of God, please help me. Help me, man of God, because I cannot do, go to work. I cannot do my house chores. I, I cannot do anything. But the man of God came to pray for me. When he prayed for me, I felt it's like something heavy left in my body, especially my neck. And then he asked me, what is it that you cannot do? I told him that I cannot turn my neck to, to the left. I cannot do, I cannot drive, I cannot move my neck up and down. But after he prayed for me, he said, remove the neck collar. I removed the neck collar. Then I was able to turn my neck sideways, up and down. I was wow. filled with joy. Wow, let us put our hands together beautifully for the King of Glory. 
So, Madam, please tell us, when the man of God touched you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay now. My neck is okay. I, I was even able to drive myself down here. You mean you were able to drive yourself down here to this program? Yes, I drove myself today. I didn't ask anyone to come and drive me. When you were driving, do you still feel that same pain? No, there's no pain at all. Let us put on together beautifully for the King of Glory. So please tell us, what are you holding on your hands? I'm holding my neck collar, which, I, uh, which I've been using. Can you please exercise to us? What are those things you could not do before that you, you are able to do right now? Right now I can turn my neck to the left. Right now I can turn my neck to the left. I can turn my neck to the right. I can turn, put my neck up. I can put my neck down. Well, I can walk. I can walk freely. Because before I couldn't walk freely. I was having a problem with walking. Even sitting down which was a problem. So if you try to walk before, what will happen to you? I will feel so tired because this neck will be moving on my right side. And then I'll be feeling very, very, very tired. Even and it, sitting down and watching TV it was a problem. I couldn't watch TV for all these months. And if you try to move your neck, what will happen to you? I, if I move my neck, I'll feel so much pain. So please do those things you could not do before. Let us see you walk. Let us see you turn your neck. I can walk freely. I can walk freely. I can walk freely. I can walk freely. I can turn my neck to the left. I can turn my neck to the right. I can bend down. I can put my head up. These are the things which I couldn't do with this neck. This is what you could not do before. Yes. Right now, are you still feeling pain? No pain at all. You mean no, you're completely no pain, free? No pain at all. Let us put our one together for Jesus Christ. So right now, do you still need this neck collar? No, I don't need it anymore. Why do you think you don't need it anymore? I don't need it anymore because Jesus Christ has healed me, permanent healing. So what will you do with it? I will just throw it away. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. When our Lord Jesus Christ healed you, he healed you permanently. Indeed, our mother says she is not using the neck collar anymore because she is completely free. Please tell us, what can you say about the man of God, wise man Daniel? What I can say about the, the man of God, wise man Daniel, it's a true man of God. God is using him to teach us the word to heal and to deliver. Let us put on together for Jesus Christ. But now please tell us with what God Almighty have done for you, what word of advice you have for those who are waiting upon the Lord, who are waiting to have an encounter with the man of God, wise man Daniel. What word of advice do you have for them? The word of advice is that they should have faith in God and keep on praying because prayer is the key to everything. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. And what is your promise to God? My promise to God is that I will work for God and I will sin no more. Indeed, we pray with you that God Almighty will give you the grace for you to go and sin no more and for your healing to remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us put on together beautifully for the King of Glory. Praise God. Let us put our hands one more time for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The Bible says when we give testimony, we give glory to God. There is power in our testimonies. They overcame by the power of their testimony. Let us put our hands.
You start rolling on the floor. They will tell you what they are going to do in your house. What I am bringing forth now to show you does not in any way show that I've arrived or that my picture is important. No. It's only a way to let you know that this man is enjoying the grace of God. What is the grace of God? The grace of, of God says that whatever you that God has put into his covenant room touches has become the tool to silence Satan perpetually in all affairs of your lives. Such was the case of Apostle Paul. He enjoyed grace. He was not among the 12 apostles, 12 disciples, but he enjoyed grace to become part. After so much he did against the body of Christ. He to let you know that when grace speaks for you, your past will be over. So please, God said, bring out this to envelope every house it enters with my presence. Please, don't for any reason think that this boy is projecting his image. No, picture, no. My picture is there to make you know that it's from me. But what is working there is the handwriting of God. This is the sticker for this year. This sticker, because of what is coming, because of what is coming, that's why God said she should bring out this sticker. You can imagine what is coming this year, 2022. But for you, obedient servant, relax. But to protect you, you need faith tools to be protected. That's it. Now, One, two, go. Of dialogue just take it into your house and leave the rest just opposite the entrance to your house Entra entrance door once they open the door they should look at it if any possessed person you will see testimonies if I doubt God it will not happen my confidence is in God you will see, write today's day down once it enters your house, put it opposite the entrance. Once they open the door, they look at it. If a demon possessed person inside these tools, you start rolling on the floor. They will tell you what they are going to do in your house. Warning the footage you're about to watch Praise is of God. a sensitive nature. Praise God. Let us put our hands beautifully for Jesus. Out, stand up and walk. Out, walk. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Man of God, this has been costing me a lot. I cannot be able to move on with my music career. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, hello, people of God. Uh, my name is Ndigo Mukumera uh, from Pretoria, South Africa. I want to tell you the goodness of God that God is doing in my life. Um, one day I was scrolling on Facebook. I have Wiseman Daniel on my Facebook. I saw one of my friends in, in, visited Wiseman Daniel. I managed to get her number. I told her my problem. Uh, she advised me to get a Wiseman Daniel package. Uh, my problem was that 
Uh, I was having a seismistration since uh, 2019 September. I never see my menstruation. Then she told me how to how can I get with the money uh, was made Daniel the the package. Then I followed what she told me. After that, uh, she, I managed to receive the Wasman Daniel uh, package. The day I, I received a Wasman Daniel package, uh, the, the person who brought to me the package, he called me at the gate. I went there, he was holding the package. I could not even face it. When I faced it, I was feeling burning heat. When he came closer to me with that package, I was started to manifest, doing everything to roll down there, down there. After that, uh, when he left, I started to use, uh, to ministering this mental, was my Daniel mental. Then I started to, uh, to read the, 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 the prayer point and follow everything. Uh, after two, uh, two weeks, uh, I saw, I just feeling somehow, I was feeling uh, somehow like a, a, a menstruation is coming, you know, if you're a woman, know how the menstruation, when it came, then I just saw in the morning when I wake up, I find I was on menstruation uh, and, and it was flowing, there was no problem, it was flowing. Elohim, people of God. My name is Nibuo. I want to show the evidence of my testimony. I'm on menstruation now. This is a clean tissue. As you can see, it's a clean tissue. This is a menstruation. I'm on menstruation now. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Elohim. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That clap is not enough. Let us put our hands together for the miracle working God. Indeed, our God is good. And all the time, our God is good. Right now, the woman in person is in our midst. Let us listen to her, how it all happened. Madam, you're welcome to Botswana for Christ's Crusade with the man of God, wise man Daniel. Please tell us your name where you come from, and your beautiful testimony. Good morning. Elohim. My name is Ndibuwa. I'm from South Africa, Venda, but I reside in Pretoria. Uh, my testimony goes like this. I saw a friend, uh, Apostle Zabudi, on, in April on Facebook. She was in Abuja. Then I uh, called her when she came back in South Africa. Then I went to uh, go to Wiseman Daniel. She advised me to get the spiritual item. She told me that, no, because I'm in Lipopo, I can give a number for Mike, brother Mike, so that you, the one who will help you with the spiritual item. Then I called my brother Mike, then he delivered a, a package, a, a spiritual item to my house. He called me outside because the gate is using a remote. Then when I got there to, to him, he said, no, I'm Brother Mike. I deliver your, your spiritual item. When I look at it, I was looking at fire. It was fire. Then I couldn't even go next to him. Then I started to manifest that there. Uh, the problem, I was having a seismistration. I start using the, the, the spiritual item. I started to use the spiritual item. I start with the uh, prayer point. When he said the, with the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter the Red Sea of poverty. When it comes to seas mistreated, I say it seven times with the staff of Moses. I divide and scatter the Red Sea of of seized menstruation seven times every day after two weeks i start feeling somehow when i wake up the other day i find that i'm on menstruation that clap is not enough for jesus let us put on together beautifully for the miracle working god so now please continue uh the second testimony goes like this 
uh, I went to, we were, we want to, uh, to extend our house in, in Pretoria, where I'm staying. Then, uh, Sorry for stopping you. For the benefit of our viewers watching all over the world. Bernard, please tell us, for how long have you been having this problem of seized menstruation? Uh, since 2019 August until now, uh, May, 15th of May. Please tell us, as a woman, how do you feel when you are having this problem of seized menstruation? No, for me, I was so feel discouraged and I was not fine at all. And how has this problem affected you, your daily lives? No, it affects me because my, even my stomach, it was big. Even this dress I'm wearing, I couldn't wear before. It was small. But now after uh, menstruation, I can wear it. It's my size. My size go back. I'm wearing size 36 and size 38. I was before the time I was having since menstruation. I was wearing 40, 42. So please tell us, were you able to mingle with your friends when you are with your friends? Uh, only the person who know about my problem, it was my, my husband only. So please continue. Then the second testimony goes like this. We wanted to extend the house where uh, we are staying in Pretoria. Then where I'm staying, you can't just uh, extend the house. You need to go uh, through the process of municipality. Then we send the, f the house plan to the municipality. It was 2019. When we do follow up, they told us, no, go to this person, go to another one. Then when we go to this person, they will tell us to pay a bride so that we can get a, a, our house plan. Until, uh, up until when we got the spiritual item, it was two and some couple of months. Then when I get the spiritual item, I take the copy of the house plan. I say, God of wise men, Daniel. Sorry, sorry, before you go further, please tell us, for the benefit of our viewers, when you say spiritual items, what do you mean? Please tell us those things that it contains. The, the, the spiritual husband is a... You mean the spiritual items? The spiritual, no, sorry. The spiritual item is a, a two sticker, a dew from heaven, and the wristband, and the calendar, and the and frame. frame. All right, so please continue. Then I, 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 I take the copy of the, of the house, house plan. I said to God of Westman Daniel, release our house plan. God of Westman Daniel, release our house plan in Jesus Christ, amen. Then after one week, my husband called me. I went to the shop. My husband w w went to work. He said, there's a person in the, in the gate. He said he, he, he delivered the house plan. I said, house plan they delivered? He said, no, even him is surprised. Then I went to see the person. He said, no, you people, it's been a long time. Then that's why I said I should deliver to you. I'm sorry for what happened. For two years, not, deliver, not getting the house plan. Let us put our hands together beautifully for the king of glory. We've listened to our mother. She just mentioned it, that she received the spiritual items from the man of God, wise man Daniel. And she administered it to her life and everything that has to do with her. And with this deal from heaven that she received for the man of God, wise man Daniel, that deal from heaven put an end to the ceased menstruation that she has been passing through in her life. To God be the glory. Let us put on together beautifully for the king of glory. So, Madam, please tell us, what can you say about this deal from heaven that you received from the man of God, wise man Daniel? Uh, this do from Westman Daniel, this is not an ordinary water. This is, there's power in this do. There's Jesus in this do, from this do. Just believe in it and trust in it. God will do wonders. God will do what he did to me. He's going to do to you. Amen. For the benefit of our viewers, they want to know when you receive this dew from heaven, that is the spiritual items from the monogol wise man Daniel. Please tell us, how do you minister it? How do you use it that it worked for you? I say, God of wise man Daniel, release my, my house plan. God of wise Daniel, 
uh, I want my sis menstruation to start to flow now. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. And indeed, your sis menstruation starts flowing. To God be the glory. Let us put on together beautifully for the King of glory. So please continue with your advice. I advise to my advice to people just believe in God. Whatever, whatever he did to me, he's going to do to you. Just pray and have faith. God is going to answer your prayer. Amen. And with what God Almighty has done for you, what message are you taking back to your country? Uh, my message is like this. Whoever is watching, viewer all over the world, all over the world, even those people who are here, just believe in God. God is good and he will do wonders to all of you. Let us put on together for Jesus Christ. Indeed, our God is good. And God is good all the time. And all the time, our God is good. Our mother here was healed through the medium of the dew from heaven. The man of God, wise man Daniel, gave her the dew from heaven. And she used it, minister it, administer it to herself. She was having the problem of cis menstruation. And after administering the dew from heaven on herself, immediately the cis menstruation stopped. And right now she can see her monthly flow. To God be the glory. Let us put her on together beautifully for the king of glory. So madam, please talk to us. What word of advice you have for those who are right here waiting for the man of God, wise man Daniel. What word of advice do you have for them? Uh, I, adv I advise to all people, just believe in God. God's time is the best. Indeed, God's time is the best. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. So please tell us, what is your promise to God Almighty? I promise to live the way of Christ and follow him all the days of my life and I'll see no more. We pray with you that God Almighty will give you the grace for you to go and see no more and for your healing to be permanent in your life in Jesus name. Amen. Shall we put on together beautifully for the king of glory. Testimony continues. I, I checked on my application, my sponsorship, sponsorship application status, and I, I saw an offer letter. This, I received an offer letter uh, to be sponsored so that I... So this is the, the, the offer letter. So I'll be finishing my studies. Like, it's been almost two years without me be having to finish my studies. So I received this letter, thank God. Let us put on together beautifully for the King of Glory. Please, for the benefit of our viewers watching all over the world, we want to understand you very well. Please tell us, what are you holding in your hands? It's an offer letter from the government, from DTF. It's a, it's a, 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 year, a one year sponsorship. So tell us, so how long have you been applying for this offer? Ah, there were no adverts being released, so I had to wait for, for uh, two years. You mean you waited for two good years? Yes. So tell us what happened. 
I, I was so stressed. I, I felt like giving up. So I just trusted God. At the end of the day, I just trusted God that he would do something about it. How do you feel when you are waiting for these two years? I was, I was so, I, I almost get, I got a, a depression. We believe you thought all hope was lost. Yes. So how do you get to know about the Botswana for Christ crusade with Wiseman Daniel? Sorry? How do you get to know about the Botswana for Christ crusade with Wiseman Daniel? I saw it on Facebook on our church page. So when you came, what happened? I was so hopeful that my problem will come to an end. I was so, so hopeful. I trusted God for a miracle. So tell us, when you had an encounter with the man of God, wise man Daniel, what happened to you? I felt dizzy. I was even crying. Like, I felt the presence of God. So what is the changes you've observed in your body? I'm light. Like, I feel like, you know, everything is just, like, I'm light. You know, I can just feel that uh, all my, pres my problems are, uh, are gone. Like, I'm free. I can feel it. I'm Let so us clap right. for Jesus Christ. Indeed, our God is the healer. So, madam, please tell us, when you got home, what happened? When I got home, I just checked on my application status to see if I, my application was approved. Immediately when I checked, I, I saw an... A, an offer letter there, but before I like I came here, it wasn't there like at all. Sorry for more clarity, please tell us. Sorry, we're having a little technical issue. Please let's start all over again. Please tell us your name, your age, and where you come from. My name is Onalena Moloi. I'm 25 years old. I'm from Uchuti. Botswana. So please tell us your beautiful testimony. Yes, yesterday uh, after the man of God prayed for me in a prayer line, when I got home, I checked on my application, my sponsorship application status. I saw that the application was approved and I was offered, like I saw an offer letter, this offer letter. I went and printed it. It's a way of like showing a letter as an evidence. So please tell us, what are you holding in your hands? And what is it all about? It's a sponsorship letter from the government, Botswana government, to sponsor me, to sponsor me so that I complete my, my remaining modules at school. Yes. So I'll be graduating next year. Okay, please tell us. Let us put on together beautifully for Jesus Christ. So please tell us, for how long have you been applying for this scholarship? Unfortunately, there were no adverts like at all. It, we are not. A, it, it, uh, there was no like responsorship advert being released by the government. So I had to wait for for two years so that it, it get like it, it, it get released. When you are waiting for these two years, how were you feeling? What was in your mind? How do you feel? I was down, I was stressed. Yes, I was so stressed. And you felt all hope was lost? Yes. So how do you get to know about the Botswana for Christ crusade with Wiseman Daniel? I saw it on my, my uh, I saw it on Facebook, on the church page. Yeah, my church page. So when you came to the prayer line on the day one of Botswana crusade with Wiseman Daniel, tell us what happened to you. I felt dizzy, like it was like something was just coming out of me. I felt like, like I even cried. I was, I was overwhelmed by the, the presence of God. For the benefit of the viewers, they want to know, when you say you felt dizzy, tell us, explain further, how do you mean? What I really happened to you at the prayer line section when you had an encounter with the man of God, wise man Daniel? I kept on failing when I was trying to stand up. Like, it, it, uh, I was just feeling dizzy. So you were feeling dizzy. So after then, what happened to you? 
I was light inside, like, you know, I was just, I felt free, like, something I just, f a be those be a burden, a burden was just offload, offload, of like, I was just free, the bed, like, I didn't, I didn't feel the burdens, like, my shoulders, I don't know what to say. To God be the glory, our sister says she is just free, so let us put our one together for the miracle working God. So please tell us when you get home, what happened to you? I was I was just happy that finally a problem, but like I received a miracle, I was blessed. Well, thank God Almighty for the benefit of our viewers watching all over the world. Mana, please introduce yourself to us the document you are holding, and how it came to be. My name is Onalen Namuloi, and this document that I'm holding is a sponsorship from the government. It's a sponsorship, it's a sponsorship letter from the government. So tell us, for how long have you been applying for this sponsorship letter? Almost two years. So you mean you'll be applying for good two years? Yes. And there was no solution to it? There was no solution. So I could, how? I could, I, could, I, I could even go to the office to check on them. There was no solution. So I felt like giving up. And how do you get to know about the Botswana for Christ's crusade with Wiseman Daniel? Sorry? How do you get to about the Botswana for Christ crusade with Wiseman Daniel? I saw it on Facebook. So when you came, what happened to you at the prayer line section? I just felt the presence of God. You know, yes, I felt dizzy. Like, so, like I said. <laughs> so tell us, how are you feeling right now? I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. You are so happy. Yes. Indeed, you are happy. Let us put on together for Jesus Christ. So, man, I said something earlier on that when you got home, something happened. Please explain to us what happened to you. When I got there, I received an email. Because I just, I got in fact, I, I, just, I just went into the, the, the system for, for the application thing. Then I... I checked if I was approved. So I just saw an I, I just saw an offer letter there to say I was approved. I was approved if I can even like download the the offer letter. So I downloaded it and printed it as you can see it here. Let us put on together beautifully for the King of Glory. Our sister here, she just mentioned it that she has been applying for scholarship for more than two years there was no solution she was not given an offer and as soon as she came to the Botswana for Christ crusade here in Botswana with the man of God wise man Daniel and she had an encounter with the man of God wise man Daniel after the touch she received from the man of God wise man Daniel she got home and immediately she received a mail when she opened it she, re she, she realized that she has been given an offer what she has been applying for for more than two weeks. Indeed, this is God. Let us put on together beautifully for the miracle working God. So, madam, with what God Almighty have done for you, what can you say about the man of God, wise man Daniel? He's truly the man of God. A man of God. My God is using him mightily. Amen. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. So, of what importance is this offer letter to you? I, I, it's so important because I'm, I'll be able to finish my studies and proceed with my, my career, career life. It is truly a, 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 an important breakthrough in my life. Indeed, our sister is filled with joy. Let us put on together beautifully for the King of Glory. So, madam, because of time, please tell us what word of advice you have for the youth out there who are watching you right now. 
they shouldn't give up on God. They should always trust that that he will always he will do exceedingly and abundantly in their uh, lives. Amen. And what's your promise to God? I promise to to live for Christ and sin no more. Indeed, we pray with you that God Almighty will give you the grace for you to live for him and for you to go and sin no more in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Let, Let us put, put on together, together for Jesus Christ. Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We have so far listened to many, many testimonies, many faith-building testimonies, but we have so much more, so much more testimonies from the events of the day one crusade, Botswana crusade with wise man Daniel. But because of time, we would come to an end of the testimonies for today. Because of all the activities, we would come to the end of the many wonderful faith-building testimonies that we have heard so far today. Please stay glued to your media screen as we're about to bring to your viewing just a few of the many, many world prophecies that God has wrought, that God has brought forth to his people through his able servant, wise man Daniel. As you watch your media screen, Begin to begin to pray along and show as you watch your media screen, begin to meditate in your heart. Begin to meditate in your heart. As we know the anointing that we are under, we know the grace that we are under. So stay glued to your TV screen and enjoy. is the year to watch and pray. Now, in my quiet place, in my private place, right at the prayer mountain, I had revelation. This is revelation, the mind of God about the year 2021. Well, the question is, does 2021 look like a twin brother to 2020? Well, it's like 2021 is a twin brother to 2020. In my revelation, I saw two images. I was just standing, they were walking towards me. On the chest of the one on the left hand side, on the left hand side was written boldly 2020. On the chest of the one on the right hand side was written 2021. And both of them were approaching me. All of a sudden, I looked and I discovered that 2020 waved and took back and walked away. And 2021 walked closer and immediately I looked at the face. Wow. It was like this. Do you ask me about the world? 2021. Twin brother to 2020. But the face. What does this mean? It's a parable. The name God tags this year, 2021, is the year to watch and pray for Christians and believers all over the world. And also the year of questions and answers for others. It is obvious that there were many unanswered questions in the past years, but this year, 2021, there will be strange answers to many questions. In fact, 99% of unanswered questions will have surprising and strange answers this year, 2021. Many things will begin to unfold that will shock religious and political bodies and leaders at large and the whole world. But one thing is certain about this year, 2021. God Almighty, in his infinite mercy and favor, promises to secure and protect his children all over the world. Take note of that. No matter what comes, no matter what happens, God's banner over his children is love. 
God's love becomes our protection against the evil plots of the adversary, Satan and his agents. In 2 Kings 1 verse 10, Elijah answered and said to the captain of the fifty, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. When God's servant speaks, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18 verse 22 on the 31st December 2020, during the live candlelight service, the man of God, wise man Daniel, gave a prophecy concerning two African leaders. He said that two African leaders will receive calls or invitation letters to travel somewhere which ordinarily is not their wish at this time. These were his words. Number 12, we are praying for African continent as a whole. For God's intervention, a person can only be in a position of authority as long as God permits. May God help our African leaders to make heaven at the end of their journey on earth. The aim and objective of every individual on this earth is to make heaven at last. That is the only reason why we are living. Everybody wants to travel or embark on a journey at the right time. Two African leaders will receive calls or invitation letters to travel somewhere. Which ordinarily is not their wish at this time. But remember, man proposes, God disposes. What does this mean? We are praying for our Africa leaders. When God's servant speaks, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18, verse 22. Tanzanian President John Magufuli has died from a heart condition. He was 61 years old. The vice president's statement followed days of uncertainty over Magufuli's health and whereabouts, with speculation swirling that he had contracted a COVID-19 infection and been flown out of the country. Two African leaders will receive calls or invitation letters to travel somewhere, which ordinarily is not their wish at this time. But remember, man proposes god disposes what does this mean hmm. we are praying for our africa leaders welcome back with tanzania is in national mourning for the next two weeks for following the death of president john magafuli he was 61 years old the vice president says magafuli died wednesday of heart problems in a hospital in dar es salaam the announcement following speculation that he had been critically ill with COVID-19 during the course of the pandemic. When God's servant speaks, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18, verse 22. On the 31st December 2020, during the live candlelight service, the man of God, wise man Daniel, gave a prophecy concerning two African leaders. He said that two African leaders will receive calls or invitation letters to travel somewhere which ordinarily is not their wish at this time. These were his words. Number 12. We are praying for African continent as a whole. For God's intervention, a person can only be in a position of authority as long as God permits. May God help our African leaders to make heaven at the end of their journey on earth. The aim and objective of every individual on this earth is to make heaven at last. That is the only reason why we are living. Everybody wants to travel or embark on a journey at the right time. Two African leaders will receive calls or invitation letters to travel somewhere. 
which ordinarily is not their wish at this time. But remember, man proposes, God disposes. What does this mean? Hmm. We are praying for our Africa leaders. When God's servant speaks, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18, verse 22. We're out of Chad now, where one of Africa's longest ruling leaders has died. According to the army, President Idris Deby died of injuries that he sustained while visiting frontline troops who were battling rebels from the country's north. He'd been in power for 30 years and had just won a sixth term. This comes after the army says it had won a major battle against the rebels, a statement the rebels deny. Deby's son has been named president of the Transnational Transitional Council. Uh, let's bring in David McKenzie, who's in. The name God tagged this year, 2021, is the year to watch and pray. That we envision as a generation. Bobby Wine, real name Robert Chagulani, has made an improbable journey from the slums to the main stage, and he's harnessed his fame in aid of a political revolution. Challenging the 33-year rule of President Ueri Museveni, the song called The Ballot or The Bullet. And Wine knows plenty about projectiles. Campaign stops frequently marked with tear gas and rubber bullets although the police say their measures prevent the spread of coronavirus. As you can see, as you can see, this is how I'm being treated. And the opposition leader has been detained and arrested on multiple occasions. Uh, now I'm being arrested. As you can see, I'm being arrested. Let us pray for our country, Uganda, for a peaceful election this year, 2021 because there is agitation and anger in the heart of the people. We pray that the present government will not apply force that will lead to bloodshed. Let us also pray for long life for the opposition leader because there are lots of threats. So I'm talking now, threats, plots, plan, this way, that way. Let's pray, there's nothing God cannot do. I have been targeted uh, by tear gas canisters and live bullets. Every single person that I've been moving with on the campaign trail has been hit. And a few days ago, my close journalist who was covering the events around me in the campaign trail was shot directly in the head. So wearing a ballistic helmet and a bulletproof vest is an effort to secure my life. When God's servant speaks, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18, verse 22. Viewers all over the world, indeed, when God speaks, the wise listen. On the 3rd of April, 2022, during the Sunday life service, God used his able servant, wise man Daniel, to prophesy concerning an African leader who was about to cross the border from his country to another country. These were his words. Let me say this, because I know it's definitely going to happen. I don't know the... God has shown me the presidents, God has shown me the age, the country, everything, but I'm not permitted to disclose for now. By his grace, I want to be obedient servant, not disobedient servant. If God said tomorrow, disclose the identity, I will do it. But for security reason, God give us the grace to speak in parable. <clears throat> A president we cross a border to a country. The question is, which country is that? A president of a nation will cross a border to a country. African presidents, European presidents, where, where? He will cross a border. That means he will be tired of this country. He will go to this country. But which country is he going? That's a parable. 
take note of that. You and I will see it happen. I repeat, a president, African president, European president, who, 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 he will cross a border to another country. The question is, why did he leave his country to another country? Which country is that? What is in that country? Is there anybody that goes there? When you leave your own country and go to that country, is it possible for you to still come back here? It's a pain. Indeed, God Almighty is also knowing on Friday, the 15th of April, 2022, during the live service of the Conference of Believers Vigil, knowing by divine revelation that the word of God was about to come to pass. Wise man Daniel was led by the Spirit of God to repeat the same prophecy again. These were his words. I said it one Sunday in the church, and I still want to repeat it. God has given me the name of the leader of a country. The country's name has been mentioned as well. The vision is very clear, but I'm not permitted to disclose it. The one of Uganda, I'm just permitted to say it now. It has been coming on and on and on. You know, one thing about God is when God gives you a message, uh, he will expect you to wait for him to ask you to deliver it. If God gives you a message, a lot of excitement, you push it out. Don't be surprised that God may change it the day you say it will not change. And you'll be declared as prophet of doom, whereas you are a disobedient prophet. So therefore, when God gives you a cup of water, Wait for him to say drink before you drink it. That is how to recognize obedient prophets, obedient men of God. So therefore, I told you that a president is about to cross a border. He will cross the border from this to that. But the question is, will he be able to come back here again? That's the question. Where is he going? If God permit me to disclose the name of the minister, I mean uh, the, the president or the leader of the nation, I will say it. But for now, that's how you know obedient prophets, obedient ministers of God. They don't go beyond their boundary. When God's servant speaks, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18, verse 22. Nam Rashid Abdala na mpenzi mtazamaji kama unavyoona hapo ni hafla ama ni taratibu ya kuteremsha bendera na inajulikana kama last post uh, kwa taratibu za kijeshi ambapo uh, bendera ile itashushwa na mlio fulani ambayo sio uh, wimbo wa taifa uh, Chai Tingilu Honorable Chai Tingilu is kindly addressing the media Kenyans having lost one of our greatest, greatest president that we have ever had. President, late President Kibaki, who lies here in state, who we lost this morning, was a person who we remember as having spearheaded and navigated this country from single party state to a multi-party state having become the president, third president of the Republic of Kenya in the year 2002. We have lost him at a time when Kenya required his wisdom, political wisdom. But we also know he was a statesman, statesman that was unique, that he listened to what people were saying before he made a decision. Late President Kibaki spearheaded this country out of terrible economic time of the 90s in ensuring that we got a real economic state of country where everybody alikuwa anasema tunajifunia kuwa wa Kenya. We will miss him, we will miss his leadership, we will miss his uh, guidance, his political strength that we all learned from. I worked with him for 10 years as his cabinet minister, both in the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Water. 
and he guided us in such a way that we were able to work in our ministries without any hindrances and without any difficulties. So we remember late His Excellency Mwankibaki for all the very good things that he did. He was a great economist, he was a reformist statesman, and we'll miss him. When God's servant speaks, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18, verse 22. Elohim, mighty God, lives in us. God does nothing without revealing his mind to his people here on earth. On the eighth day of the month of May this year, 2022, during the life service, wise man Daniel was led by the Spirit of God to prophesy about the outcome of the just concluded Kenya election. These were his words. Kenya, wow. Kenya, the message to repeat itself again. Kenya, 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 Kenya. Hmm. Well, I will deliver it the way it came, but I'm going to speak in parable. And write it down, you see with your eyes when it happens. Except God has not spoken. The way I was brought up by blessed memory, Prophet TV Joshua, is not to be in a hurry to speak when God gives you a vision until the final state of the vision. Then you can speak. Otherwise, there will be someone more closer to God than you that can change it. It's a matter of crying to God on their knees. It's just the way you have raw materials and they go through stages of treatment before the final product where you have your clothes. It's not this cloth that started the journey of the production. Raw materials, cutting, stage one, stage two, stage three, the final stage, maybe the colors, based on choice. You want blue, it will produce white, the same thing. When the vision just come first, don't be too quick to release it. There may be stages in that vision which only God can tell you. If you are too quick to release a vision out of excitement, ha, 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 and you know that vision want to test you to see how obedient you are. I will only cite this example that we have obedient prophets and disobedient prophets. But from the same God, take note of that. It is true God ordained them, but obedient prophets will only see the inner side of God. Why the disobedient will only see the surface? But they don't want you to know that they have been blind spiritually from seeing the inner side. They'll begin to play game. Play game. Play game to cover up. But those that have spiritual eyes will know that God has abandoned this man. God has abandoned this woman due to disobedience. That is why I will always remain loyal to blessed memory, Prophet T.B. Joshua. People of Kenya, hear me loud and clear. The presidential election come August this year, 2022, in Kenya is not going to go the way the mountain has planned it. Man proposes. God disposes. I repeat, the presidential election coming August 2022 is not going to go the way Mountain has planned it. Because man proposes, but God disposes. I am seeing Kenya flag flying in a new dimension. On the flag, on the left hand side of the flag, I can see a gap between two letters, letter V and letter X. And on the right hand side of the same flag, I can see a gap between two letters, letter Q and letter S. On the left hand side, letter V and letter X. That's the gap I'm seeing on the left hand side of the flag. On the right hand side of the flag, the gap between letter Q 
and letter S. But I'm seeing a crowd. Are they protesting or jubilating? When a flag is does it call for protest or jubilation? Well, we are praying for Kenya election. For the will of God to be done. May the Lord bless his words. When God's servant speaks, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18. Verse 20. I, Wafula Chepukati, chairperson of the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, hereby declares that yes. Ruto William Samoe yes. of ID number 6847. 208 has been duly elected as the president <laughs> Ruto William Samoe ID number 6847208 has been duly elected as the president. Of the Republic of Kenya under the provisions of Article 138 of the Constitution in the presidential election held on 9th of Day of August 2022. On the left hand side of the flag, I can see a gap between two letters, letter V and letter X. And on the right hand side of the same flag, I can see a gap between two letters, letter Q and letter S. On the left hand side, letter V and letter X. That's the gap I'm seeing on the left-hand side of the flag. On the right-hand side of the flag, the gap between letter Q and letter S. Finally announced as Kenya's fifth president. been duly elected as the president. And as he took his victory lap, his opponent's running mate shared her views online. Martha Karua just tweeted, it's not over until it's over. How will you respond to a contested election outcome? Um, this election, to the best of our knowledge and understanding, is over. Uh, we are a democratic country. We have built robust co uh, institutions that can uh, undertake the resolution of any issue. But I'm seeing a crowd. Are they protesting or jubilating? When a flag is does it call for protest or jubilation? Well, we are praying for Kenya election. For the will of God to be done. May the Lord bless his words. Six days of tension finally erupts. Not even the harmony of the choir could keep the peace. A moment of contention that many had anticipated and feared in the most formal environment and streamed live to the nation. Force was met with force.
Public tallies have shown a win for the current deputy president, William Ruto, for days now. But supporters of his opponent and former prime minister, Raila Odinga, flagrantly rejected the vote count. And just moments before the outcome was to be declared, drama spilt outside the tallying center. Protests raged in Odinga's Nairobi stronghold, Kibera. And four out of seven electoral commissioners disavowed the tallying at the last moment, deeming it opaque. You have heard it by yourself. It is very obvious that Wiseman Daniel spoke in parable when he said, I will speak in parable and you will not understand this message until it comes to pass. And indeed, he spoke in parable and no one understood this prophetic message about the Kenya presidential election, which he gave three months before the election. This is the meaning of the parable, the gap between letter V and X is W, the first letter of the name Williams. And the gap between letter Q and S is R, the first letter of the name Ruto. Which means that Williams Ruto is a flag bearer, the winner of the Kenya presidential election, as you can see by yourself. We bless the new president of Kenya, His Excellency Williams Ruto. And we pray that God Almighty will give him the grace to lead the nation and the people of Kenya in the fear of the Lord. This is Wiseman Daniel's message to the newly elected president of Kenya, Your Excellency, President Williams Ruto. Do not forget that God Almighty is the one that has put you there as a leader to rule his people in obedience to his commandments. Always remember that a person can only be in a position of authority or position of leadership as long as God permits them. Finally, always remember your promise to rule and to lead by one, becoming a good listener to the people's needs, becoming accessible to the people who elected you, and above all, working in the revelation, instruction, and direction of the Holy Spirit. God bless the new president of Kenya. God bless the people of Kenya. And God bless Kenya as a nation. Elohim, God lives in us. John 14, 23.
Praise the living Jesus. It was such a beautiful watch. We are blessed by it. And indeed, when God's servant speaks, the wise listens. The same voice that spoke to nations will speak in the land of Botswana today. That same voice that spoke to nations all around the world will speak to us individually today in Jesus' name. Are you as expectant as I am? Are you as anxious for the arrival of wise man Daniel as I am? Are you as expectant? I can't hear you. Are you as anxious for the arrival of God's own wise man Daniel? Remember, God's time is the best. As we await the arrival of God's servant, wise man Daniel, let us make welcome to the stage someone who is a friend, a colleague of wise man Daniel. Someone who was mentored for several years under the tutelage of blessed memory, prophet T.B. Joshua. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, please let us make welcome to the stage evangelist Frank Harvey Logan. Praise the Lord. Can I hear somebody praise the Lord like he is able? Can I hear somebody praise the Lord like he is worthy? Oh, come on, that's not loud enough for the King of Kings. If you believe that today is your day of healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings, let me hear you shout, but swan up for Christ! But swan up for Christ! But Swana for Christ! Yes, but Swana is captured for Christ. And there's nothing that the devil can do about it. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Harvey Logan. Logan. Your brother in Christ. And general overseer of Faith, Hope, and Love Ministries. Faith and Love and Ministry in the United States of America. America. Thank you. It is a great honor and privilege. To be here in the midst of the beautiful people of Botswana. On this historic day, day two of the Botswana for Christ Crusade, with my big brother in the Lord. Wise man Daniel. Wise man Daniel. Yes. By the special grace of God. I was given the grace for many years to serve as an evangelist in training at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Where I worked closely together with Wise Man Daniel under the mentorship of our Father and the Lord, Blessed Memory, Prophet T.B. Joshua. 
ka hata se ga ketelo pele ya lo wa ganta te mo moreneng prophet tb joshua it was in the year 2005 in elekang wa ga go le wa 2005 where the nation of botswana ha chaba ya botswana Welcome prophet TB Joshua. Ya mogela mo proheta TB Joshua. For his very first international crusade. Ile le khato lanta la thero phata la tsa ya gagwe ya le mahatsi. Yes it was in this very stadium. Where thousands witnessed the evidence that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Many of us can recall the epic words that Prophet TB Joshua spoke when he first stepped into this nation. In his exact words, he said, I have come to do what I was born for. What I am living for. And what I am going to die for. As we have all seen on Emmanuel TV. Prophet TB Joshua lived his life for the gospel. And the advancement of the kingdom of God until his very last hour when he, was, when he was called to be with the Lord. Let us take a moment of silence to thank Jesus Christ for a life well spent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hey. We can see that Prophet TB Joshua was a good mentor. Because yesterday, we saw that indeed his legacy lives on in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I am here today because Prophet TB Joshua taught us that we are to live at peace with one another. Most especially with our fellow workers in the vineyard of Christ. Listen. Don't think that just because I am here supporting my brother in the Lord, wise man Daniel, that we have never had confrontation. In fact, you can only imagine how many confrontations we had as we lived together for many years in the disciple room at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Sometimes wise man Daniel would shout at me, Hey Frank, you didn't mop this floor. Hey Frank, you didn't clean the Hey Frank, you didn't clean the bathroom. 
In fact, if not for Christ, we may have even fought physically. But our Father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, taught us that the right knowledge of God settles peace. He taught us that as soldiers of Christ, we must learn to fight and settle. Let me tell you something. There were some times when I was going through some difficult situations. And wise man Daniel would call me. Me wise man Daniel and Pete. And he would give me words of encouragement. And he would pray together with me. So I want to take this opportunity to say thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. For being a true brother in Christ. And being an inspiration to all of us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ prayed in John chapter 17 verses 20 through 23 that all believers would demonstrate the kind of unity that would marvel the world. So people of faith, it is not enough that we just come here to receive from God. But we must also maintain what we have received from Him by living at peace with one another. So as we welcome the choirsters back on the stage to sing beautiful songs of praise and worship, let us open our hearts and release ourselves from every unforgiveness, every pain of the past, and all bad feelings towards others. As wise man Daniel will soon be coming into our midst, and there will be such an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that the nation of Botswana will never remain the same again to the glory of God. If you believe that, how do you see? Let me use shout Botswana for cry. I you the Botswana Wamarana Jesso. Botswana for cry. Botswana wanna get a sea. Botswana for cry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and begin to worship God whatever you are. Just begin to worship God whatever you are. Just lift your hands and begin to worship God. Out of my belly 
shall flood rivers, rivers of living waters. Ia, ia, ia. Out of my belly, belly shall flood rivers, rivers of living waters. Ia, ia, ia. Out of my belly. Shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Here, here, here. La 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 la. La 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 la, hia hia eh. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, hia hia eh. Out of my belly. Don't consider your time. Consider God's time. The best of your life, the best of your life will not come to you on a smooth ground. It will come to you through a tough moment. It is true you will be here since morning. And this boy is just coming out now. It is not my desire. But as it should be by divine providence. When you wait for God's time, you will lack nothing and want nothing. But when you go by human time, human applause, human praises, when trouble comes, 
Human will abandon you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is a friend closer, much closer than your brother. So therefore, I know from human angle to please you I will say I'm sorry for coming late. I hope you have pardoned me. Have you pardoned me? Thank you. But by, by divine providence this is God's time. And God will surprise you. Yes. I wouldn't just go into action without preparing your heart for what you are about to receive. Give me your attention for 10 minutes because rebuilding you requires your attention with due respect you may have your seats. How do you say, how do you say I'm sorry for coming? Where's my friend? Please, let me see your hair. Stay here. How do you say I'm very sorry for coming late? In In I hope you have pardoned me. How do you say that? How do you say that? How do you say thank you? Okay. This man, I will take him to Nigeria when I'm going. <laughs> yes, just a brief one, a very brief one. It's titled Setoroki. A clean heart is necessary for spiritual maturity. Briefly, turn with me to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7. It is thus. For he is a kind of person who is always thinking about the cost. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. Let me also take you briefly to that book of uh, Ephesians, I mean uh, Philippians. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. It says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. And let me take you to a process. We call it divine factory. Where the word is made to become an integral part of you. What you need to do. Romans 10 verses 8 to 10. And it goes thus. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. Verse 9. If you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord... And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, 
you will be saved. Verse 10, for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. A clean heart is necessary for spiritual maturity. Proverbs 23 verse 7 says, and I quote, A man is what he thinks in his heart. A man is what he thinks in his heart. If you think positively, your heart becomes positive, becomes free, and sensitive to the Spirit of God. On the contrary, if you think negatively, your heart becomes inclined to negativity and your body, your spirit becomes sensitive to the lies and antics of Satan. It means as you think negatively and act negatively, you are pouring your ingredients for food making inside the pot that is owned and controlled by Satan. Christians, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers in the Lord, one thing is certain here. Building a spiritual life that totally agrees with the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit to bring about healing in the name of Jesus Christ, to bring about deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ, all of God's blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, salvation of souls in the name of Jesus Christ is a function of a clean heart, a pure heart, a a heart that is free and sensitive to the Spirit of God. Therefore, a person who wants to grow spiritually and mature spiritually must make the book of Romans chapter 10 verses 8 to 10 a template inscribed upon his spirit being the real man his heart when that is done, you constantly taking the word of God to heart and truly make it part of your being by constant meditation. When you think about what you have read in this book of life, which is the standard for our lives, and turn it over and over and over and over again in your heart, automatically it becomes an integral part of your inner being. Of your inner being. And when it becomes an integral part of your inner being, wow, wow. your spirit 
will become free and sensitive to the Spirit of God. When your spirit becomes sensitive to the Spirit of God, the voice of God becomes very clear in your heart. You become prophetic in your expression. Remember, our heart, our conscience, is a communication point or contact point for the Holy Spirit as well as Satan. It depends on whom you permit to take over your heart. If you permit God to take over your heart, the voice of God become clear in your heart. Many people today, many ministers of God are supposed to be hearing God clearly in their heart, but there is dilution because their heart, their spirit man is not free and sensitive to the spirit of God. Therefore, Satan will speak to them and God will speak to them. They become confused on whom to listen to. But because their heart is full of grudges, envy, jealousy, malice, deep heart, deep pain, the voice of Satan becomes louder than the voice of God. It becomes, should I say it? Or I should not say it? Should I speak it? Or I should not speak it? This will be the struggle until the voice of God, the, the voice of God they had in their heart happens. They will say, oh, I had this in my heart. I should have said it before it happens. You will not have the confidence to say it because your heart is not free and sensitive to the voice of God. Those of you waiting for healing, waiting for deliverance, waiting for salvation, waiting for blessings of God, free your heart and allow your heart to be sensitive to the Spirit of God. Right now, be free of offense and deep heart so that you'll be confident to confess this I shall be healed I shall be delivered I shall be blessed today before the hand of God touches you don't allow doubt or the statement of Satan telling you you're not going to be healed nothing will happen to you you go back the way you came if you grab onto that fake confession if you grab onto that fake confession, nothing will happen. You will go back the way you came. Because your heart is sensitive to the voice of Satan. But when your heart is sensitive to the voice of God, you will constantly meditate on the word that goes thus. I shall be healed. Today is the last day of this trouble in my life. I've suffered enough. I shall be healed. I shall be delivered. I shall be blessed. My salvation is sure. Be rest assured. The anointing that breaks the yoke will not pass you by. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. That's my short story. According to the Bible, According to the Bible, yes, let me go forward. Please, prayer line, let's go ahead. The Spirit of God is about to move. His is Lord, He is Lord. Amen. Sing this song from your heart. Sing this song from he your heart. Has he has risen risen from the dead, he is Lord. Every knee shall every tongue call that Jesus Christ. He is Lord. He is Lord. 
statue la capina. moment. Today is a uh, one year anniversary. Ça t'il est nous redit la mwaka of our mother mom Evelyn Joshua's incision. Redit la mwaka wa mewarona as the prime leader of Squan. Il est moi télé du pelé wa Squan. Give thanks to God for her life. For so far, so good. God has been intervening in her affairs. God has been intervening in her affairs. God has been intervening in her affairs. And we pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen her. In this mantle of leadership. 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 May the Lord continue to strengthen her. In Jesus name. Thank you. Yes, thank you. The song again. Take notes. Take notes. Prophet T.B. Joshua. Prophet T.B. Joshua is my mentor. I use the word is. Because the spirit of apostles never die. And our mother in the Lord, Mom Evelyn Joshua. Joshua. So. As far as I'm concerned, a soldier is a soldier. Even at one point, he remains loyal to the man. I will forever be grateful. I will forever remain grateful to that man. Prophet T.B. Joshua. Yes! Hey! Can I speak to you, sir? Please pray against hypertension. Yes, sir. Your, 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 your heart is crying for help. Yes, sir. If you walk a little distance, you want to see it. If you walk a little distance, you want to see it. Yes. Always getting tired. Yes, true. And this right side is becoming heavier. Yes, true. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release you from hypertension in Jesus' name. Can I speak to you, sir? You lost the glory of God in your first relationship with a lady. You lost the glory of God in your fair relationship with a lady. Yes, Even the way you parted way was strange. Yes, yes. Even the way you parted way with her was strange. Yes, 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 man of Ever since then, you've been having a strange woman sleeping with you. Yes, man of God. Yes, man. And when this happens, anything you go for, failure. Yes, yes, the people you helped turn their back against you. Yes, you have God. labored a lot. Yes. Hey! I'm watching the Lord Jesus Christ. Out! Out! I'm watching the Lord Jesus Christ. You're free. Because I realized that before the end of this year, there's a venture he's into. I don't want you to lose this appointment again. You know what you're applying for. Yes. If you lose this one again, you may commit suicide. He's my older brother. It's true what you're saying, man. Don't worry, the Lord is at work. Amen. Thank you. Thank stand you, up, Jesus. stand up, stand up. I see a Bible in your hand. True that, true that, say. 
through that same. But this, this Bible is getting darker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Permit me to use the word. Wow. By now, it's supposed to be vibrating. Yes, sir. But it's no longer happening. Yes, sir. I confirm that. The light is going down. Yes, sir. You know when you carry a Bible that's supposed to be plain, white, the, beam, the, the light beaming on it is supposed to be bright. Yes, sir. But your Bible is dark. I confirm that, sir. Yes, sir. Your trouble started the way you began your journey when you were young. You remember your dad warned you about relationship with friends. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the major problem you have now that is troubling you is spirit of lust. Yes, Pray against heart problem. Okay. Amen. You feel chest pain. Yeah. Breathing becomes very difficult. Amen. In English, Amen. I say you feel pain. It's like you're breathing. As if your breathing is always going up. I think if I know you, I will not give you a message. <laughs> yes. Because if I give you a message, because I know you, you look as if you must have told me. Somewhere. I know you. I know you. I know you. I know you. How are you, ma? This issue in the family, has it been settled? You struggle, it's as if you struggle all alone. You know what I'm talking about. I said this issue, how far with it? You labor alone, you struggle alone. Okay. <laughs> Maybe when you remember, you talk. Hey! Imagine what Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Loss of memory. Come here. Come here. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Loss of memory. Where's the mom? Where's the mom? <clears throat> Are you the mom? Are you the mom? Loss of memory. Well, I tell you like him. Loss of memory. Her performance academically is retarded. Are you always complaining about that? Which one is wrong? I don't understand. Two. Eh? Yes. Two, two. I know you. <laughs> I know you. Oh my God. What is wrong with this, your daughter? No, answer the question. What is wrong with this, your daughter? Her life is stuck. Eh? Her life is stuck. And the reason why you are here, you say, if God does not locate you, that was the prayer you were offering here. Yes, yes. She, she's been stuck for so long, and there's so much potential from way back. It is her relationship with man that caused it. Remember, she complained about this man. I, I, know, I, know, I know. I know. But I said, Mother, why didn't you advise her that there's no way in that relationship before she went too far? How did you try? Um, I tried to get the aunt to talk to her, but then she went ahead and just cut off the marriage. But now the relationship has failed. Yes, it has failed. I pray she will not commit suicide. I say I pray she will not commit suicide because now she's depressed. I say she's depressed as I'm talking now. The mighty about Jesus Christ. If God wants to use you as a point of contact to declare her free. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! Spirits of suicide, depression. Out! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it on. Come on. What are you doing about these headaches? Yes. I, I don't know, man of God. Yeah? I, I don't know. When it comes, water drips off from your eyes. Yes. I, I tend to blink a lot. What are you doing about it? It's not normal. It's, 
Yes, man of God. It's not normal. Yes, man of God. And it's always here. Mm. It's in the family. It happened to your dad. Remember? Yes. It's a curse in the family. Yes, man. Put your hand there. Put your hand on your head. Out! Thank you, Lord. I know you. <laughs> Up. <laughs> Why I'm praying for you, I'm seeing spirit of death. Like English. You speak English? I said, I see the spirit of death. Yeah? Your dream is telling you <laughs> you will soon pass on. Strange dreams you're having. Amen. That is why anytime you're moving, it's as if there's someone moving behind you. When you look back, you don't see anyone. It's the spirit of death. So you need to you need to see December twentieth. We God will pray for you. You need to see December twentieth. That that spirit of death crying out. Let me just be point because if I keep going, 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 going. Come here, you. You. Red cap. No, you. Red cap. Red cap. Yes, come. How far your relationship with this man? Separation. Eh? Separation. Why do you say you don't forgive him? Wow. Why I'm asking this question is the Bible says in, in, in an interaction between two people, Blame is shared. But when you acknowledge yourself in that situation, prosperity becomes difficult. Tell me, because you can never have a settled home. What I'm looking at now, who is that fault? He hurt me when I was still young. He hurt me. Eh? He hurts me. He hurts you. You don't, you don't have any you don't have any blame in that? When I have an I have Okay, tell me your blame. God wants to rescue you. Yeah, no, when I pass our king, would you be about what is your blame? I know your blame. What's your blame? When I pass our king and forgiveness. No, anger. Uh, uh, eh? yes. You easily get angry. Well, yeah, I, I told you some time ago, before, before the relationship parted away, that he doesn't like the way you get angry unnecessarily. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, forgiveness is small, but anger, when she gets angry, she can pull the whole house. Carry the mother of Jesus Christ. Out! Thank you, Lord. No, no. Well, I think mass prayer will settle many you, cases. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What, what are you doing about this breast pain? What are you doing about it? I started about eh? it. I come here for prayer because I left sight of pain. Hey! Hey! Diva. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Hey! 
Use your hand to tap her chest, the right side. The right side of the breast. Good. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're free. Stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come here. You. The lady on. Yes, you. You. Yes, come. I'm seeing you in between two people. Choose one. I'm seeing you in between two people. Hey! Ask her if you have chosen one, she let me know. Because what I'm seeing, it will end up in not a good way. Let her answer the question. Has he chosen one? Who is the person? How far would you? Yes, come. You don't believe in yourself. How do you make You always doubt yourself. Many opportunities have passed you by. It's true. And this is what has affected you even when you were in your studies. Those whom you thought performed better than you. It's true. You keep asking yourself, does it mean I'm not intelligent? But those you thought before the exams, he will get into the exam, he will start doubting the answer he wants to write. By the time the visitor says, Press up, he will say, Ah, this is what I should have written. It is true, man of God. And this has affected you so far. Even in a relationship, you are indecisive. It is true. Should I go for this or should I go for that? It is true, man of God. Why I'm saying this is because sometimes when you do something good, it always speaks for you. You have a heart to help. And that heart will pave way for you this coming year. Amen. Okay? Thank you. Tap the heart. When it is time to make the decision, his heart will be strong. He will not doubt himself anymore. That is a problem with many people. At the point of taking decision, should I do it? Should I wait? Should I do it? And the time will pass by. You will not have confidence. But with this deliverance, once decision making comes, you will have confidence. Okay? So that is it. Can I speak to you? Yes, come. Pray against knee pain. It's like the right, right one. one. The right one. Yes, this one. It is Come here. You know, it's a curse. It's happened to your mom. Okay. Come here. Cry! Okay. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Three. So permit me to go to the prayer line. Thank you, Jesus. 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 There is an idol worshipping from your father's side. And that, is why, and that is why every male children doesn't make it. Hey! Hey! Much more Jesus Christ, leave him. Leave him. 
If I see, if I see a serious case, I will point it out, okay? You should like say you died and rose again. It's true. You died and rose again. It's true, you what so day you woke up, you could not breathe. It took you two minutes before your heart came back. True, on man, top of the bed, you are putting on a short pants and a top white singlet. It's true. Two at midnight. You woke up later your heart settled pray against heart failure Amen. It's true. i've got a high blood pressure eh? i've got a high blood pressure hey! 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 i'm just i'm just looking at those who will not make it next year like him he will just die very nice man, he will sleep, he will not be able to wake up. Before you know it, they say, ah, I saw him yesterday, I greeted him. Heart failure. You are free. Men of God, my name is Samantha. What you were saying about me is true. Yeah. What you were saying about me is true. I'm used to show people. I'm saying, my name is Samantha. What you were saying about me is true. I'm in between two people. But I was talking to you. I said you're in between two people. Choose one. I see if I'm one of them. Am I one of them? Okay, now, which one is your heart going for? My husband. Eh? My husband. Your heart goes for him. But how did you break this? Be sincere. How do you break this former relationship? How? Did you pass away? How did you pass away? I just. Left. You just. Yes. Do you know he cried? Yes. Yeah, I know. He cried. Yes. Speak. Yes. Eh? Yes, I know. He cried. Okay. Eh? He cried. Because he has given a lot, a lot to that relationship. Yes. He shed tears. He shed tears. Yes. And you know, there are some people that their tears must not touch the ground. Remember, you complain about his menstruation sometimes. You talk about your menstruation coming and going sometimes. Yes. This man, I just need to see you. You need deliverance to break out of the barrier. It is true you have chosen this one, but this one is fighting. Because the way you parted the way was very bad. Okay? Mighty Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. You're free. It's over. It's over. Thank you, Thank you. Don't worry. If God give me time, I will move around. Please, please. If God give me time, I will move around. How many man panago get that ma? You are lonely. Yes, very true. You are lonely. Very true. Our struggle is self struggling. Very true. Very no support. True. Very true. And that has given you concern. Yes. It makes you doubt people around you. Yes. And loneliness is not good for a woman of this age. Amen. Permit me, permit me, please, to move. And uh, can you see? Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Yes, viewers all over the world.
Good morning. <laughs> you are looking at your time. God will surprise you. You see what will happen. Hey, just watch what will happen. So please, 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 please. Hey! 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 Mighty Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Viewers all over the world. It is time, 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 it is time. The move of God, the move of God is about to get your house, your office, your parlor, your company, your family, your husband, your wife. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your bedroom, in your panel, take the move of God and receive your healing. Take the move of God and receive your deliverance. Take the move of God and receive your blessing. In Jesus' name. Join me and God bless you. We're here at the prayer line. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're using Nicola and also Nibris for how long? 19 years. Hey! 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 Viewers all over the world, stay tuned to your screen as miracles continue to happen live here in the National Stadium with wise men Daniel. Remember, there is no distance in the spirit. Wherever you are, your healing, your deliverance, your blessing, and your salvation are surely proven to you this night. Continue watching your screen as you see people falling down to the power of deliverance that is in this place. Elohim.
the queen of the universe. Aha. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I cannot tell. Aha. You are joking. I'm not. I'm not going to talk to you. Okay. Don't touch my crown. Don't touch my crown. Don't touch my crown. No. I'm not going to tell you anything. No. No. Huh. You small boy, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stop. When the son of a man sets you free, you are free indeed. And if there is no spirit, there is no power or doom that can escape the presence of God. I am here for you. I need your help. Men of God, I am supposed to be operated at the back door. Men of God, I, 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 I have several operations and you are here. I know that as you are here, men of God, all the problems have finished. You have already started confusing the doctors. I could have been admitted. Men of God, men of God, touch me. Your hand is so important for me. I'm healed. Oh. I'm healed. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Healing is taking Healing is taking place. She came here using a cross to walk, and she can now walk freely without the aid of the cross. And the healing, mighty God, lives in us. Watch, watch, watch. Watch her, watch her, hold her, hold her. Let's remove it. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. The last one. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Come on. Luba. The angel in charge wants her to move. Come on. Oh yeah, go. Liba. Liba. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hold her. You are
men of God. Help me, men of God. Arthritis, arthritis, Victoria. Victoria, have it on. Victoria, have it on. Please, men of God, help me. Please, men of God, help me. I'm not talking, men of God. Please help me, men of God. Yahoo! Uh, I'm the snake! I'm the snake! What have you done to her? Yes, I want to kill her! What have you done to her? Yes! I want to kill her! Yes! I want to kill her! 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 Yes! Why? What did you want? She's intelligent! Who caused her this accident? Who caused her the accident? Who caused her the accident? Ah, yes! You! I want to kill her. You want to kill her? Yes. But Jesus has decided to rescue her. He's very intelligent. Yes. Yes. I want to kill her. Yes. She's very intelligent. Okay. It is time you go. It is time you go. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now rise up. Yes. Rise up, rise up. Pick the face. Pick the face. Rise up. You are free. Stand up. Stand up, stand up. Don't worry. Don't worry. You don't need to be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Stand up. God has set you free. Okay, help her, help her, help her. Okay, check your legs. Check your legs and see how you are feeling now. Check your legs. How are you feeling now? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Men of God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk. Please, men of God. My name is Victoria. I not walk. Help me, man of God. Help me, man of God. Please, man of God, let me know. I, I can walk. Head failure. 15 years, man of God. My name is Victoria. My, please, man of God. What do you want God to do for you? What do you want God to do for you? What do you want God to do for you? Please, man of God, help me. I can walk by arthritis, heart failure. Arthritis, heart failure. Shut up. I go. Go. Go, you're free. Go, 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 go. Shut up. Help me, man of God. Help me, man of God. Help me, man of God. My name is Emily. Help me, man of God. Help me, man of God. Help me, man of God. My name is Emily. Help me, man of God. My name is Emily. I cannot walk. Help me, man of God. I've got a problem in working. Help me, man of God. Help me, my family. We are not in agreement for one year. Okay, what do you want Jesus to do for you? Jesus to heal me. I stand up. You're free. Go. 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 Don't worry. Go. 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 Leave her. Go. Thank you, Lord. She's free. Raise her. My name is Wakan Sibong Mama. I can't work, man of God. I can't work properly just because of arthritis. I've got a problem with that arthritis and the, and I'm using a lot of
viewers all over the world as you're watching healing taking place purpose it in your heart and stay connected in faith so that you may receive your own as the wise man daniel continues to minister to those in the prayer line elohim mighty god lives in us men of god help mama she cannot walk properly it's been 12 years now Here we are with someone who was just healed just a moment ago by the wise man. Can you please tell us your name and the problem that brought you to the day two Botswana for Christ Crusade? My name is Wakant Mom. I came here just because of the arthritis. I cannot walk. I cannot stand up for long. I cannot do anything at home. I was using my processes. So how did you feel on the prayer line when wise man Daniel prayed for you? I feel okay, I'm here. So what can you do before that you can do now? No, I can jump, I can jump, I can jump. I can jump, I was not, I can not do that. Help me, man of God. My name is Bibi Lamusi. I come from Serue. I am 62 years. I've got arthritis for 10 years. It started from my knees and then to my waist, backbone, and to the and to my neck. I can't. I can't. My neck is not. What do you want Jesus to do for you? What? What do you want Jesus to do for you? I want Jesus. I want to be healed. I want to be healed, men of God. Go. Go. Thank you, Jesus. Go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, I'm healed. Thank you, men of God. Thank you, men of God. Thank you, Jesus, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus, I can walk. viewers all over the world just continue watching your screen as miracle power signs and wonders continue to take place remember no situation no sickness no disease can escape the presence of god stay connected wherever you are
God help me. My name is Kami Hendrik. I'm suffering from uh, lumbar spondylosis. For four years now, man of God. For the past two years, it has been extremely worse. What are things you cannot do? I can't work properly since I'm in the military. Hey! I go. Shut up! Go. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk now. I can walk properly. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. In Jesus' name. Thank you. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Viewers all over the world, continue to watch your screen as great exploits continue to happen through the faculties of God's anointed servant, wise man Daniel.
to touch as far as I can go and after that much prayer okay Viewers all over the world, continue to connect wherever you're watching from as the power of God is moving in the midst of the people. If you of leave God. your seat and come forward, I will stop. Go back to your seats. I'm coming to your seat to touch you. Just stand in front of your seat. That's all. Stand in front of your seat. That's all. Stand in front of your seat. Where does stop? If I come, I don't see any seats in, behind you. I will not touch you. Stand in front of your seat. Just continue to connect wherever you are watching from and may your faith work for you tonight. Remember in the realm of the spirit, there's no distance.
just let this hand touch you that's all but if i cannot touch you mass prayer will settle the case the lord said let me just touch some people before i, I do the mass prayer don't rush be on your seat it is, it is not my hand but the hand of god that's all please out of my belly Back in his career, this time we have been promoted as a sergeant, but he can't go prosper. How do you think? Who is his father when he was young? Let it flow, let it flow. Viewers all over the world, continue to watch your screen as the power of God is moving in this place liberating the children of God from all hosts of the Let satanic place. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow right now. I'm using a wheelchair since, since 19 years. Men of God, please help me. I'm on a wheelchair. I'm using a wheelchair for 19 years. Men of God. What, what are the things you cannot do? I, I can walk. walk. Imagine of Jesus Christ. Stand up. Hold the chair. Stand up in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Say, Jesus, help me to walk. 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 Oh, yeah, go. Jesus, help me Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, go. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah, go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Guide Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. I you can are the living God. Yes, there no one like you. Eku eme. Eku eme. Eku eme. He's in the whole place. So here is not smooth. You can't expect her to walk as fast as you can do. Somebody whose joints are weak. The guy is not smooth. Okay? So leave her. See how you set me free. See how you deliver me. You are the living God. Yes, I know. You are the 
power, deliverance power, blessing power, and above all, salvation power is in this place. Just continue to watch your screen wherever you are. There is no distance in the spirit. You reign. You ancients are yours. Yes! Cardo, Cardo. You are mine. We are yours. You reign. You ancients are yours. Cardo. Sit and come to the line. I will not attend to you. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. I'm coming to your seat to Go back to your seat. Just stand on, on, in front of your seat. That's all. Stand in front of your seat. That's all. And from a single room. If I see you leaving your seat, I will not touch you. accomplish before I get to you say what you want in your heart the writer of God is the seal don't take this moment for granted it is a commitment to God which I have made right from the first day I met Prophet T.B. Joshua to spend the rest of my life to make human beings happy 
So don't let this moment pass you by. Okay? This is this is my greatest joy to make you happy. So please, before I touch you, say in your heart what you want God to do. You will live to remember this day. If I don't have you, my love, what do I gain? If you take the whole The was all over the world. The God of liberty is here to liberate his people. The God of deliverance is here to deliver his people. Let your faith speak for you. Let your faith work for you tonight in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. of the Holy Ghost knowing that the same God who heals them is the same God who will attend to your situation remember that the same God is the same yesterday today and forevermore in Jesus name Front, front of my bed, 
difficulty in working due to arthritis and spondylosis of lumbar. This this generated this help me, man of God. I've got difficulty in working for three years now. Thank you. Help me, man of God. My name is Aloe Shiku. In Jesus' name. Hey! Thank you, Lord. Check your leg. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I can walk. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you for healing me. I can jump. I can jump. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Till the day you will come. Jesus. To touch everyone here, but God's time is the best. Get ready for the mass prayer. Let me touch. Okay, for the touch.
everybody here, are we all workers? All workers. Let me tell you the secret.
us thank you, O oh God. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. And I decree and I did learn my life will never be the same my game. And I decree and I did learn Sweet! 
As you can see in your screen, a lady has just been healed from using a Lamba concept. All this can be to the glory of the one seated in the heavenlies, Elohim. Stay connected wherever you are. There is no one like you. We read your praise. Oh, yes. Let it rain for your rain. Let it fall on me. We read. Let it fall on me. Daddy, open the flags. He in a bounds. And close your way to fall. Anywhere you are, this mass prayer will touch you. Just believe. This mass prayer will touch you. Distance is not a barrier to the move of God. It's like you are tired. Money, 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 I, 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 money, 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 <laughs> it's time for mass prayer. Anywhere you are, this mass prayer will touch you. 
whether this hand touched you or not. Distance is not a barrier. The voice of God can pierce concrete, can penetrate the strongest wall, and hit the target. Your problem is a target right now. Your sickness is a target right now. Your pain is a target right now. Get ready to be released. The word of God has no barrier. No obstacle. When it is released to meet a target, it pierces every barrier to hit the target. Now listen to this. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 says, Behold, I have given you power and authority to trample on snakes and scorpions. And no power shall by any means hurt you. This statement is true for your life this day. As I stand here, enveloped by the power of the Holy Ghost. I envelop this atmosphere. I envelop this stadium with the same atmosphere of the Holy Ghost. Citizens of heaven Walkers of heaven, walkers of righteousness, descend right now and accomplish your duty. I envelope the circumference of this stadium with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Anywhere you are, you will be touched, you will be healed, you will be delivered. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet says. This is the day of the latter rain. God is moving in his power again. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. is now by power. He's not that. He's not by might. By my spirit. Somebody touch me. Somebody. Somebody touch my soul. When I was praying, I was praying to my father. Somebody touch my soul. So Somebody touch me, somebody touch me, somebody touch my soul. When I was praying, I was praying to my father, somebody touch my soul. It must be true.
The right hand of God is power. The right hand of God is power. The right hand of God is power. I want to let you know that this right hand you are raising up is no longer yours. Raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. The right hand of God is power. The right hand of God is power. All shots, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready. Don't allow anybody to hit his or her head. God wants to empower their right hand. Whatever you touch shall be touched in heaven. Raise your right hand up. 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 Elohim. 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 I'm 
against that sickness. In Jesus' name. Are you on the stand over there? Raise your right hand up. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you are, within or outside this stadium, I envelop you under the shadow of his protection. As you go out, be covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. As you come in, be covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. As you go out, be covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. As you come in, be covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. Your family is covered. Your career is covered. Your health is covered. Your business is covered. Your company is covered. Your children are covered. Your wife is covered. Your husband is covered. Your siblings are covered. You are covered. As you go out, you are covered. As you come in, I envelop you. I envelop you with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Someone is delivered. Are you the one? Amen. Someone is rescued. Are you the one? Yes. Someone's setback has become breakthrough. Yes. Oh, yes. Are you the one? Amen. Someone's failure has become success. Yes. Amen. Are you the one? Yes. I can't hear you. Are you the one? Yes. Someone's history has been rewritten. From once upon a time, a poor man to now a prosperous man. From once upon a time, a barren woman to a fruitful woman. From once upon a time, a nobody to somebody. Someone's door of breakthrough has been opened. Are you there? Are you the one? Someone's case has become an argument in his or her community. Yeah. Is that not the poor man we used to know? How come he became prosperous? It's an argument. Is that not the man who was nobody? How come he became somebody? It's an argument. Your case will become an argument to your community. Is that not the barren woman? How come he has, she has a children? It's an argument. Your case will become an argument to your community. Your case will become an argument among your adversaries. Your case will become an argument among your enemies. Go and prosper. Go and succeed. Go and prosper. Go and succeed. In Jesus' name. Now, before I say anything, with this moment it must be transmitted live please anywhere you are under the influence of the video mixer audio mixer what have you don't joke with this voice don't be a tempter to the voice of God make sure you transmit live the voice you are hearing now is not the voice of God I mean it's not the voice of a man It's the voice of God it's not my voice 
is the voice of God. It's not my words, it's the word of God. If you tamper with it, I leave judgment for God. Don't joke with this voice. Don't mistakenly say, this voice did not go live. Don't joke with your career. Anywhere you are, transmitting this voice, allow it to go smoothly. I'm begging you, don't joke with this moment. Please, save your career from problem. It's a serious issue. If you are transmitting audio, make sure the audio does not break. Vision, it does not break. This is an assignment from God. Don't toy with it. Whatever you know is good for God's business. Cover your hand and raise it up. Put your hand in your pocket and raise it up. Be a partaker. Whatever you know, oh, this is okay for God. Take it from your pocket. Raise it up for sanctification. Viewers all over the world, are you in your bedroom? Are you in your parlor? Are you in your office? Are you in your company? Raise it up. Just take something from your pocket to support the, the people of God. It's not, it's, not it's, not a joke. Joke. it's not a joke. Raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up. Hold it tight. You will know now that this is not a joke. At the mention of Jesus Christ three times, you see yourself you will not be able to stand on your leg. But make sure what is in your hand does not drop. Camera gets ready. Hold it tight. Jesus Christ! Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Jesus Christ! Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Jesus Christ! Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Jesus Christ! Hold it. Hold it. Hold that in your hand. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. I'm not saying your phone. I'm not saying your book. I mean something to support the work of God. Hold it tight. The last time is coming. Hold it tight. This is not a joking moment. That thing that is in your hand can change a life. That thing that is in your hand can transform a community. That thing that is in your hand can build a nation. Hold it. The last moment. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Father, Thank you for releasing into your hand your breakthrough, your success. Now, do me a favor. Don't drop this into any offering box. Listen to me attentively. Don't drop this into any offering box. Don't make that mistake. Challenge God right now with it. You know what you do? Make sure it does not mix with other currency or cash you have keep it separate so that you can identify it when you get home put it back separately in your pocket as you are living here please God, God says, says listen attentively look for the poorest man the poorest woman the poorest person physically challenged orphaned destitute in your community just do me a favor as you approach them go on your knees forget about the fact that you're the manager of a company forget about the fact that you are the director of a company just go on your knees and say i give you this as a point of contact to receive my breakthrough in jesus name you hand it over mark my words mark my words your life will not remain the same I have delivered the message. What you have in your hand, take it home. Look for somebody who is poor, who cannot eat, who cannot eat, who find it difficult to survive. 
give this. If you are, if you are conscious of yourself, you will know the moment you stretch your hand to drop that thing, something will possess you. And that is the God of the people. He said, I have no home. I have no clothes. I have no food. I have no water to drink. When you give this to your fellow human beings, you have given to me. That thing which you have in your hand, please take it home. Look for the poorest in your community, the poorest in your house, the poorest in your home. Give and say, I use this as a point of contact for my breakthrough. And write that day, the date of that day down in your diary. You will live to testify to the glory of God. This is not my words. I have said it the way it's given to me. And you will be sure that your life will not remain the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Put it in your pockets. Take it home. Make sure it does not mix with all you have. Separate it. What you're having now is a point of contact for your breakthrough, your goodness, your good health, your success. Go and challenge God and see what will happen. Many of you today have missed your destiny. You see a destitute asking you for help. You say, where are you when I was struggling? Please, leave my way. You don't know that Jesus Christ could be a destitute asking you for arms. Jesus Christ could be a poor person asking you for help. The moment you help, you help your destiny. Jesus Christ is not in need of your money. He's only in need of your help in the lives of others. He has no farm where you expect you to cultivate for him. He has no office where you expect you to arrange fires. He says, your fellow human beings are your offices, are his offices and his farm. If you do this to the, if you do this to the list of your fellow brothers, that will be unto me. Take that thing home and see how your life will be transformed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Before I go, I want all the ministers of God to come forward. If you have a ministry, you are a minister of God, come forward. Every praise. Don't rush. If you are not a minister of God, don't bother. You have received your blessing. You are a minister of God. You have your own ministry. Come forward. Please, this is not a moment to joke. I'm telling you what God has given me to do. Just stay there. You are a minister of God. You have your own ministry. You are in a ministry. Come forward. Word of worship in one accord. Every praise, every praise to our God. You are a minister of God. You have your own ministry. You are in your own ministry. Come forward. Just stay there. Every word of worship in one accord. Every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise is to our God. Tomorrow is, I think uh, tomorrow Sunday, yes. Monday, there will be pastor's conference. We will talk deeper. You know what I mean? You will talk to me, I will talk to you. I have a message for ministers of God to Monday. I think Monday is the pastor's conference. We will meet and talk. Um... Before I talk, is there anybody whom God has shown what he has in stock for the nation Botswana and uh, the whole world at last? Is there anybody? God, don't just come up and begin to tell story. No, I know what I'm talking about. I know what God showed me about this nation of Botswana. I know what God said he wants to do, but there's a hindrance. A hindrance. So if you know you have, I know God must have shown one or two people what happened yesterday. Stand up, don't do that. Stand up, stand up. Stay here. Stay there. If you know you come forward, please. I know what I'm talking about. You have a message for us? Come forward. Please don't rush. Please, if we rush, I will I will I will just run to the fire stand from there. You will not see me again. So don't rush, please. Okay, let's hear from you. Because I know what God descended here yesterday. It's not a joke. If you know you have a ministry, 
just comfort. Uh -huh. Do I have anything to tell us? If you are saying the truth, I will confirm it. Because I know what God showed me yesterday. My if you are telling lies, I will, I will also confirm it. I will, I will declare it. Because I know what God showed me yesterday about women in the house of God, the nation. That's it. Uh -huh. My name is uh, Brian Banda from Zambia. I'll begin uh, from yesterday when the man of God was praying. After praying, um, after the, the, the prayer line, he was doing mass prayer and was praying for all of us. But if you remember those who were here last night, suddenly the man of God changed. He began to pray in tongues. So I'd like to relay the messages, there are about three messages that I heard when I was speaking in tongues. Number one, I heard him speaking in a pure heavenly Hebrew. What I mean is the tongue of angels. God gave him a tongue of angels so that everyone was hearing was not just hearing a mere voice from the man of God, wise man Daniel, but the tongue of angels. Now, what was the meaning of that tongue of angel? I was told that this is the voice that I've given my son, wise man Daniel, to divide and to remove mountains in the lives of people and everyone who have heard this voice and is in this crusade whatever mountain they brought here that mountain is removed this is why i gave him a voice of an angel if you can remember those are not the tongues we commonly hear everywhere it was the heavenly language the angel, angelic tongue that was given to him. And the message I was told is, whatever mountain, whether you are touched or not, the mountain, I mean problem, whatever problem that you brought in this crusade, that voice was given to him to remove that mountain. That is, the first, uh, that is the first message. Number... Number two message, I was told that the coming of the man of God here is prophetic. Just as the man of God, blessed memories, our father in the Lord, came into Botswana, from the time he came here, the anointing for nations broke forth. What I mean, the anointing for nations was released. I was told that not only Elohim ministries, but ministers of God, ministries, business people, everyone. They have been praying to have a connection in another nation. You've been trying to enter in another nation to establish a ministry. But the things have been difficult. But from this crusade as you go home, the anointing for nations... You to have ministries and other nations, they are open in Jesus' name. The anointing shall break forth for nations. You are going to prosper in other nations. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What I wanted to hear is this last statement. That's why, with due respect, I called my fathers and mothers my brothers and sisters. And the last message, it touches the, the nation of Botswana. I was taught, number one. Hold on, listen, 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 and listen. Mm -hmm. It touches the nation of Botswana. Hear this message, I was taught. God has been sending prophets for a reason. I want to repeat. God has been sending the prophets for a reason. Number one prophet is our father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua. 
Number two prophet is our father here, wise man Daniel. Hold on, hold on. No, no. 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 I agree with the first one. Our, our mentor, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, blessed memory, and other men of God. I understand what you're saying for the sake of peace and order. Because it's not possible for me or Prophet Joshua to be the only man of God sent. I know maybe it's choice of words. So 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 there are other men of God sent. But what I what the messenger concerned Boswana, I yeah, put, put it down. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Okay. So I was told that Boswana, God have chosen it to be a birthplace for the true, faithful sons of the prophets. Love for Jesus Christ. Thank you. God loves, I know God showed many of you yesterday's look today, for you to know that our coming here is not by accident. It is as it should be by divine providence. If I tell you what I went through, to be here. <laughs> you know that everything good, anything close to Jesus receives attacks. If I tell you stories, I will document those stories or wh what my colleagues faced on the way or what some people who tried to help faced or what some the organizers of this crusade is only faced. You know that anything close to Jesus will face serious attack. But at the end, victory. So, so that is it. So, so, so that is it. So now, Thank you very much, sir. Uh, because of time, I know some of us also have some stories to tell. But right now, I want to assure you as ministers of God, whether you are within Botswana or not, don't allow the old things to remain in your heart. The Bible says judgment will begin at the altar. You know what that means? If you know you are not ready to carry this mantle of authority, please gently drop it and go back to business. It's the, risk, it's the most risky job. If you know within you, you cannot, don't. What are the things that can hinder the, what you have received today? As I'm looking at some of you, if you have spiritual eyes, do you see what I'm seeing? I know many of you have seen it, you don't want to talk. If you look at the eyes, people I'm looking at here, since yesterday to today, your ministry will not remain the same. Amen. Tongues of fire, tongues of fire have been placed on your lips. But there will be only one hindrance. What is that hindrance? Anybody can keep grudges and go free, not you. <laughs> Anybody can keep malice and go free, not you. Because God has kept his sheep under your care. Let me give you an instance. We will talk on Monday. I know on Monday many of you will become my enemy. And many of you will become my friends. But I will tell you the truth. I have a message for we pastors. Let me demonstrate what I mean. What is happening in our midst. Because what God has descended on you as a minister of God standing here. If you can take this message home and practice it. <laughs> rain will fall. Sun will shine in your ministry. In your favor. Let me just use, uh -huh. let me use these two brothers because they look like giants. Come, you come, you come. Another person that has big body, you come. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. thank you. This is a minister of God. You come here. No, stay here. Face, but just stay like this. Face me. Face me. Uh -huh. Two of you stand that way. Uh -huh. Face him. These are two giants. We ministers of God are giants. We are like elephants. Let me use that word elephant. Elephant, elephant. When these two elephants are fighting, who suffers it? Who are the grass? The sheep God has given in your care. If the sheep that is under this care begin to fight the sheep under this care, God will not blame those sheep. It is you, minister of God, God will blame. You will pay for it dearly. Go and write it down in your dictionary. You will pay for it dearly. That's why I said, if you are not ready to carry this cross, leave it. It's not by force. If you say you're a minister of God, you should be ready 
to let go of things and deep hearts because of your anointing. Many lights that were dark, many lights that were low have been brightened today. If you go home and hold this word and practice it, <laughs> even your members will testify that the pastor we used to know is not the same pastor today. This is a minister of God, a minister of God, a giant, a giant. And the sheep are the grass. When two of these people are doing what? Fighting. Who are the people that will suffer it? So therefore, whatever you can do to care for the sheep, God put it under your care. Do it. Because the judgment is coming. Many will rise under this statement and many will go down under this statement. How will you rise under this statement? If you go and practice exactly what you are doing in that Bible. You know the Bible you are carrying is a standard for our lives. Go back, practice it to the core and see what God will do in your ministry. The era of mercy is over. Judgment has come. God has brought revival to the land of Botswana. Listen, I am not here to do better than the ministers of God in Botswana. Quote me right. Please, viewers all over the world, listen to me. I am not here to do better than any minister of God here in Botswana. I am here to join force with them to defeat Satan. That is all. I repeat, I am not in any way coming here to do better than any minister of God here in Botswana. God has ordained them. Fine. It's left to them to maintain their ordination. I'm not the judge. I'm not here to tell you I'm better than any minister of God here in Botswana. God has called them. Leave judgment for God. I am only here to join force with them to defeat Satan. And you can see your prayers, what your prayers have done today. As ministers of God, I knew you were praying while I was laying hands. You say, God, use what I'm to do it. And instantly it's happening. I can't do it all alone. That's why we are ministers of God. Why should I say I, I'm better than you? Why should I say you're better than me? Or I'm better? No, it's an understatement. God is not, will not be happy with that. You join force with me, and today we have defeated Satan. So please, take the same love, the same unity, the same forgiveness back to your ministry. Take it back to your ministry. From today onwards, if anybody offends you, let go of that offense because of your anointing. Anointing is like, is, is, the, is the oil in the lamp. And the more the oil, the more the light glows. But the moment the oil dries, the light goes off. The oil is the character. Character is a tree that has branches. What are the branches of this character that keeps your light burning? Forgiveness is part of the branch. Genuine love, part of the branch. Caring for the needy, part of the branch. Bringing peace where there's chaos is part of the branch. What will you tell Jesus? That you're a minister of God and you cannot set to peace. What will be your defense on the last day? <laughs> I'm going to raise my hand and I want you to raise your hand with me as a minister of God. We are heads of the Father. Yes, Lord. We are joined. Yes, yes. With a song, we are children, we are children oh. of the kingdom. We are family. Raise your hand, raise your hand. We are one. We are one.
Father, we, the apple of your eyes, are here. We, your representatives, are here. Father, the tongues of fire you have descended upon us. Let it remain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The tongues of fire you have descended upon us as your representatives on this earth. Let it remain upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prosper our ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Increase your fire in our ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Increase your fire in our ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Increase your fire in our ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Increase your fire in our ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Increase your fire in our ministries. 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 Join us together in love. 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 Let your anointing reign upon us all. Let your anointing reign upon us all. Anointing to heal upon us all. Anointing to deliver upon us all. Anointing to bless upon us all. Anointing to save upon us all. Whatever we touch here on earth, let it be touched in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever we lose here on earth, let it be lost in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever we say here on earth, let it be said in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Increase your fire in us. Increase your fire in us. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Increase your fire in us. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Increase your fire in our ministries. Fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh yeah, give your give your neighbor a handshake. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Shake your neighbor, shake your neighbor. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see, I can see all over you. The glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see, I can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, before the grace. I want to take time out to first and foremost appreciate God Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, who has made these two days a success, who has manifested his strength in our weaknesses through signs, wonders, and miracles. To him be all the glory in Jesus' name. I also want to appreciate the organizing committee who has come together to make this crusade a reality. Though there were challenges, but today, glory be to God. Yes. I also want to take time out to give thanks to the owners of the stadium, the 
government officials who deem it necessary to make it possible for us to make use of this place. You know, what makes us good citizens also makes us good Christians. Obedience to the law. And I uh, want to let you know a good one deserves another. We appreciate your kind gesture. God bless you. Thank you. And also, I want to appreciate the workers, the choristers, instrumentalists, the media team, the cameramen, the audio department, the ushers, the security department, the sanitation. Wow, you have been wonderful for these two days. I know God has strengthened you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your love, for your care, and for your support. That is why I took time to touch you and also offer this prayer because I know there will be testimonies, huge testimonies coming from. I'm 100% sure of that. The police department and the protocol department. If I didn't mention your side, maybe I forgot. Please pardon me. <laughs> Thank you very much. And at the same time, I want to let you know that as far as I'm concerned, I feel at home. I feel at home. Botswana is my second home. Thank you for accommodating your, your small brother, wise man Daniel. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the hospitality. And I want to assure you, anytime I want to go on holiday, I will come here. <laughs> I will come here. Yes. Botswana is a wonderful nation. God loves Botswana so much. Yeah. I have two messages for this country. But you know, like I told you, we ministers of God should be very careful. You know, when God gives you a cup of water, allow him to say drink before you drink. Because if he gives you that cup of water, of course the water is meant to be for drink, isn't it? Uh -huh. But when he gives you the cup of water, wait for him to say drink before you drink. That is obedience. When he gives you, he wants to test you. He gives you, you wait to look at him. You wait. It may take you one month. You have to wait. Patience is very important. Very highly rewarding. If you are not patient, your success greatly may pass you by. But if you are patient and you don't compare yourself to others or look to, to others to chart your course, oh, rain will fall, sun will shine in your favor. So therefore, be patient until God says drink. But today, God will give you water. Even before He lands upon your hand, you start drinking. And it's a very nice and wonderful God. He will be looking at you. By the time you are tired of drinking, you will come back and beg. <laughs> That's God for you. So therefore, obedience is better than sacrifice. So that is it. If, since I've not received the green light to release those two messages, it may be 31st all night, I will release it. So, and uh, when I release it, you will see with your two eyes when it will happen. When I do like this, know that billions of you cannot change it. Because I've taken time to find out that no other person can change you before we speak. That's the secret I gain from Prophet T.D. Joshua. He doesn't speak, but when he speaks, billions of you cannot change him. Go and check his track record. So, so what he has vomited in five wise men, I'm so confident in that. And I don't doubt it. So, it. so please, you know your master. Listen to me. Don't be jealous. Don't be offended. You know your master. Do everything to protect the interests of your master. Come bring, come solve. Even at come point, be loyal to the last. So as I'm concerned, you want to see the other side of me. You want me to turn my back. Just begin to say, TV Joshua is this, TV Joshua is that. I will separate myself. Because TV Joshua never told you he was a Jesus Christ. I mean, he was Jesus Christ. Did he tell you that? He said, you always said, I'm not the healer. I know the healer, but the healer's name is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He never told you he was perfect. If he never told you he was perfect, who are you to judge? If he had told you, I, I, was, I, I, I was Jesus, I'm Jesus, mm -hmm. you can begin to say, hey, hey, ha, ha. He was never Jesus. He never proclaimed himself as Jesus. It means we are human beings subject to error. The anointing is your special grace we are enjoying. 
if you are judging someone, who, who will judge you? Have you seen where we get it wrong? Nobody is perfect. So therefore, mind your business. Tell your neighbor, mind your business. Simple. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Tomorrow is Sunday or today? Is today Sunday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. Okay. Uh, for you to know that uh, I'm happy what God has released in the lives of the ministers of God. I don't need to tell you here. I may come to your church tomorrow, spend one hour or two hours, go to another minister of God church, spend one hour, two hours, go to another minister of God church, spend one hour, two hours, spend another minister of God church. I may talk 20 ministries tomorrow. Just to go and say, I appreciate what God has used you to do in the land of Botswana. You can see what, imagine, what kind of prayer can Satan stop among you? All what you saw happen today is your efforts, your prayers. Because while I was there, I felt it. That was why you could see me moving, moving, moving. It's not possible for all of us to be stretching hands. That's why you allow me to stretch hands. You are backing me up in prayer. So for the same reason, I may not be able to come to all of you, all of you. No, but I want to assure you, the presence of the Lord is with you. But I'm going to move around to visit ministers of God tomorrow for you to know that I have open hearts. Ministers of God, yes. So that is it. So that is it. Thank you. Thank you. Don't, don't, go and, don't, don't overnight move your ministry to Botswana because I'm... Yeah, yeah, Minister of God, I want to move around the ministry. I, I, my ministry is here in Botswana. You rent an apartment, I say my ministry is here. Your member will not follow you to this place. <laughs> they will remain there in South Africa. Zambia. And I want to assure you, what God has started here will go around. Yes. So different nations, prepare. 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 Zambia, get ready. South Africa, get ready. Ethiopia, get ready. Malawi, get ready. Namibia, Get ready. Zimbabwe, get ready. Aha, ha, get ready. Oh, ho, ho, get ready. Thank you. 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 But once again, I appreciate you, ministers of God, for your prayers for the two days. Thank you for backing me up because you know I cannot do it all alone. Honestly, I felt your prayers. Keep it up. And I want to assure you the same way it happened here, it will return to your ministry in Jesus' name. The same way it happened for these two days. Because of your prayers and support. For these two days, I release the same anointing to your ministries. I release the same touch to your ministries. Receive it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you. Thank you. You are all over the world. We know you are blessed. Yes, we know you are touched in a unique way. If you're a minister of God, take this word. Don't joke with it. Remember the point of contact God said you should raise up. Don't mix it up with other money you have. Separate it. Tomorrow, just go and look for the poorest person, physically challenged, the blind, the destitute, the deaf, the dumb. Drop it and say, this is the point of contact for my breakthrough in Jesus' name. And see what will happen. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Is he from the land of Botswana? Yes, man of God. Uh, wow, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. Come, let's hear from our brother here. The beautiful country of Botswana. Uh -huh. uh, I'm Brother Mbayua Isaac. So I decided to choose one of my best pieces uh, for the servant of God. For my brother, Wiseman Daniel. For my brother, Wiseman Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. These are mixed sticks. Wow. Yeah. Raw, original. Yeah, original, say. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, I want to say thank you. God bless you. Thank you. So, um, finally, as you are about to leave, 
to your various destinations. Think of what Jesus has done for you. Think of how he received what you are enjoying today. Remember, it was not in the palace he received what you are enjoying today, which is salvation. It was not in a comfort zone. It was not at his convenience. It was at the point of greatest pain and agony. So put yourself in his position. If he could do this for you, what are you doing for him to reciprocate this kind gesture? The best way to pay back is to make sure that you live at peace with everyone. Love everyone but trust only God. That is the only way what you receive today will remain permanent as you go back to your very destination in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cover your career in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cover your business in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cover your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cover your going out and coming in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you go out and as you come in, receive the protection that comes from resurrection power in Jesus' name. So shall it be. As you go out, so shall it be. As you come in. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Elohim. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are the church.
Automatically, automatically, automatically. 
Some may come at the end too. Get a tell you, you can find it this side. In the morning when I wake up, yes. I wish my praise unto you, my Lord. I will shout, I will dance to you. You have been my help forever, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God is good, oh. Yeah, yeah. My God is good, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God is good, oh. Yeah, yeah. My God is good, oh. Every day, my double, double, oh. My double, double, oh. Your money, double, double, oh. I'm tired of being on 